ladies and gentlemen. Uh. Yeah. We build on topics, whether conscious or cosmic. It's never nonsense. Mega levels are microscopic. It's a killer priest project. AD control the rocket. Before we land a plane, many things we engage and explain. The unexplained without mass. Welcome to the Killer Priest Podcast. Yo. Who's curious to know about the unknown? The horrors of the unknown. Who's curious to know about it? Horoscope is coming upon you. Witness the horoscope is coming. (laughs) No doubt. Welcome to another episode of Killer Priest Podcraft. I am your host. Horoglyphics. Horoglyphics. Horoscope. Horror Potter. Uh, yeah, look for the horror. <laughs> Give me a um, horror. Give me another one. Horror Potter. Um, <laughs> horror Krishna. Hara Tubman. Uh, hey, what up? Welcome to another episode of Killer Priest Podcast. That's right. Lord, Lord, son, Killer Priest right here. And controlling the rock is none other than ADA Dezel. Hey, what's going on? Welcome back. It's going to be a wild show. You already know. Too. Let's go. Yep. 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 What's good, everybody? Yo, today is going to be incredible, yo. So we welcome to the darkness. Um, I want to shout out everybody in the pod, Craft Room, um, Oracle, Coach Kandaka, um, Oritator, Vinny, Black Lodge. Yeah, Black Lodge. Got to say it right, brother. Um, um, and, you know, Voltage going to be coming through. I am feeling great. I am feeling up. Metal Face Doom is in here. He said, hit me with that like button. That's right. Oh, I like that. See, that's what I'm saying. Moderators get up on it because he's saying the right thing. He might, he might, uh, <laughs> he, he might be up in there moderators um, let me see Dave Flores says horror at me <laughs> horror at me I like that one horror back horror back at horror. me <laughs> horror yes indeed indeed that's a good one hip hop horacle <laughs> horror at your boy they coming horoscope is upon us John um, John Marsh says what up uh, what's up, uh, John? What's good? Uh, uh, Naisha Champ, peace, eight, yo, AD. Yeah. Hollering at you. Say, say what up? Peace. Yep. AD's right there. Fella B says, mad love from Australia. From we, down under. Yep. Do we got a Naisha Champ and uh AD thing going on? <laughs> Our home girls. <laughs> I love hey. this. I love this, man. This is good therapy, man. Mm-hmm. Great news for everybody. Uh, great news. Yeah, I got my power glove on. This is from the power. AD gave it that, that name that initiated, right? Power. The power? power yeah, power. Second world of Walter Reed. Yeah, this is my, um, this is the glove right here. Got, I got a horn, a horned uh, crown that goes to it. Don't run from the horror, man. Or don't run from the horror. It's out to get you. You know what I mean? Um, bless up, bless up. Bernie says, bless up, priest. Much love from Virginia. Virginia Beach is, I love Virginia Beach. I'll be out there soon. Shout out to my man, Carmega, Omega. You know what I'm saying? Make things happen out there. Uh, young seventy, young I 71 says, Yungi 71 says, peace from Chicago. You know, that's my second home. The Windy you know, City. Yeah, you know, that's my second home. Hmm. Every time I, I go out to Chicago, I get love. From everyone out there, you know what I mean. A lot of people think I live out there. Mm. One person said, "Preach you from Detroit," because I, I ran, I ran out there, up and um, I got a lot of, got a lot of good things out there, and um, in Shy Town, you know what I mean. Mm. Uh, and that's what my man Tall God A. Rue is at. You know what I mean, I got family out there. Word. So, uh, yeah. uh, Ngozi from there. What you said, Ad? You got Jax Lane from Detroit. Shout out to Jax Lane, man. Detroit up in the building. Is he in the 313? 
Hey, holla at you, boy. Holla at you, boy. Uh, I need my, I need my. Um, oh yeah, Danny Salinas. That's right, Danny Salinas, sh- Chicago. When I come out there, bro, we gonna we gonna roll. Danny Salinas, so come at, come through. Cause you came here, I will be out there. Oh, Ice Hawk killed it. What he hit us with, AD? Taurus, Horus. Oh, I thought it said Taurus scope. Uh, okay, Taurus, Horus. Uh, horrified, yeah. Let me see that. Um, Hori, uh, said, uh, no more horror. No more horror joints, huh? Great Lakes. WS, uh, shout out to the Great Lakes. He's in the Navy. Is that the Navy 95 or is that a road? I don't know. I'm trying to get it together, yo. Peace to the whole, um, Rocketeers. If you're just coming and it's your first time, we have a, um, the craft room, the most funniest and the smartest uh, chat room on the, on the board. We call them the craft room. We call it the, uh, the avatar room. Rocketeers and craftsmen. Shout out to both, of you, both groups. We have two groups of cats that's uh, really getting busy right now. Um, shout out to Hakeem. I spoke to him. And... Uh, uh, that's my brother right there. So shout out to a brother to, from another mother, um, all across the globe. Let's get to let's get the business out the way real quick. I have a show coming up in um, in uh, Houston on the twenty third. I'll be out in your Houston area. So all those cats out in Dallas, or if you're in Austin, around there, I'll be in uh Houston area on the twenty third, and we'll be doing Doja Belusia. Doja Palooza, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, it'll be with uh, my main man, my brother from another mother, you know what I mean? All the way back from Heavy Mental, it'll be with Fourth Disciple. We'll be there performing live. Um, some of your classics, you know what I'm saying? We're going to get busy. And this is the information uh, for Doja Palooza. They will be talking about NFTs. They will be talking about their own. They have their own thing in there. Y'all can go onto the list. Chalk it up. Um, go to dogepalooza.com. Yeah. Dogepalooza. The event is April 23rd, Sugarland, Texas. At the Constellation Field. That, make, that makes sense right there. Mm-hmm. There's the artist lineup. Right. Y'all can check out the website for more information. Yeah. So... We will be there in the um, in the physical form, you know. Peace to the gods, you know. So you got to say it like that. I will be there in the physical form, you know. what I mean, in the straight up the attribute, we will be there. Uh, Danny Devine said it's gonna be fire. You know, it's gonna be dope. It's gonna be dope. We're gonna go through the whole line. Houston in the building. Um, Houston, do we have a problem? You know, <laughs> we will be there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to uh, everybody that's coming through. I see everybody on a game. Um, I went on my live earlier to build. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things happening out in the world today. Got to be on our P's and Q's, me and AD. Uh, great news. AD, you, you want to break the news or you want me to break it? I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll tell them. We not, tell them. Uh, I'm not moving after all. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hey. the buying homes in the uh, Los Angeles area, believe it or not, is a little pricey. Hey. And due to the uh, circumstances happening in the world today, it's not a good time to buy. Mm. So uh, we're putting that on hold for probably next year. Hey. So uh, I renewed the lease for this place, and we're going to stay up in here. But the cool thing is I'm, I'm going to do some renovations around here and uh, kind of you know upgrade as much as we can. Uh, to make this podcast as dope as possible, you know what I'm saying? So that's kind of cool. I'm actually glad I'm not moving because moving is, is is a lot of work, you know what I mean? And uh, it's now is not the time. So mm. that's that. Mm. That's well, that. I'm glad you're not going, man. Yeah, I still want to set it up like a stage around here, though. You know what I mean? So that if we have uh, you know, any more artists that want to break out a bass, uh, I want to set up like a drum kit back here, like an electronic one. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So that we can actually do some live. Uh, live shows, live performances, you know what I mean? Do yes. some more of the live stuff. Uh, Dave, we're going to get Dave Flores over here. He's going to play bass. Yeah. And you can play it, and I will, I will rhyme. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I will rhyme. We'll probably make up a song right on the spot. Yeah. Or we'll just play with something, come up with some ideas and stuff. Yeah. We got a spot, we got a spot 
open for Flea. You know, he knows his address, so. Yeah, just so we can do some live things, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly, exactly. But so, I got to make room. Yeah, so as is promised, we're going to be doing also, we're going to be also doing the uh, Royal Priesthood, getting that together, you know what I mean? The uh, beat's going to be going out soon. We have Voltage, we have uh, AD, we have, um, we have, uh, uh, get something for 4th, too. I'll, I'll talk to 4th when I get out there. Um. Marco Buddha. Mm-hmm. Um, let me see. Yeah, Christian suggests we get a shop. That's another option, too, because you do have that spot in L.A. We can also go to a live studio. Yes. Um, but we've got a setup to go mobile. Right. So and if, right. And if y'all checking the tea, we're going to upgrade the tea, the tea room. The Lord Sun tea will be available uh, very soon. We're going to be upgrading that this week. So it's just a soft launch. You know what I mean? That's what they call it. So we'll be doing that. So we got the show. We got AD staying, which is good. Yeah. But your mental, uh, everything is there. You know, it's a lot when you move, though. Yeah. Like you said. Just for this year. Because I was looking on buying, you know what I mean? So I'm trying to buy next year. Fire. Fire. Maybe you're joining you that. Joining, joining you in that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, you know, packing up, moving is a big thing. It, it, it takes responsibility and a new set. Some of us have to set up our lives to change those things and uh, things that we have to move away from. Set up boundaries. Forgot up to set your boundaries. Boundary for haters. Mm. Haters in your life. Haters around you. you Got to set up boundaries. Don't have them around you. You have to uh, set up boundaries and distance yourself from people that, who's trying to pull you down. You know what I'm saying? Uh, to make yourself rise to your better self. Um. Uh, Cleaning house, sometimes you need to do that. Sometimes we have to clean our own self and make sure that we write so we can move on and set up the new shop. When you set up the new shop, you don't talk about the old. You just grow. The butterfly does, never looks back at the cocoon when he's grown. The, the, the caterpillar is evolving into something else, but the butterfly doesn't reflect on just being a caterpillar. He has now went through his time in his cocoon Meditate it and then transform butterfly effect. So it's with the uh, dragonfly. This time is, I mean, this is time now to get serious and smarten up, get wise. Ain't no uh, question for you to ask why time's just wasting. You know what I mean? And uh, growing up and being coming, uh, becoming our uh, stronger and our gold self is the is the way to go. We talked about it yesterday. Shout out to uh, shout out to my brother that. Came on the show, cute butters, being responsible, taking responsibility, taking it in your own hands. That's right. Somebody, uh, OHM says, breath of divine heals. That's right. Uh, thank you, Rihanna. Uh, David said, beautiful. Yeah. Well, we, that's what we do, man. We, we have to have these discussions in order to, uh, to, uh, go further. You know what I mean? Uh, we're lifting off, and every day is a... I know every day we go through things. This rapper takes a little bit, get a little bit more down to it. You know, we go through things every day, but we go through things just like that butterfly went through that cocoon. You will get out of it. You are coming out of it. You just got to go through the process, and uh, we all come out of it at the end of the day. And when you come out of it, you'll be able to uh, shine a little bit brighter or maybe multi, 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 multi uh, brighter, you know. But it's when you're in the muck, you think you're not getting out. But let's ask the, pe- let's ask the people that went through it before we went through it, <laughs> who came out of it. <sighs> Greatness. It's not like that new day. Sleep comes for everyone. And that hard day, but it's nothing like that new day. You know what I mean, AD, when you're waking up, I'm talking about the brand new day. Catch it, ar- catch it around 6, 6 in the morning. Summer 5, sun just coming up, and you just it hit your face. If you got the light right there, you know what I mean? You got your coffee brewing or whatever, and you just feeling, be- you feeling a little bit better. Night, it's over with. Whatever happened in the past is you're moving on. You're becoming your better, your better half, your better self. 
I know we need jungle music for that. Make sure y'all hit that super chat today. Because I'm gonna be uh I'm gonna be letting it out. Doing a little bit of teaching, a little bit of preaching, a little bit of speaking. You know what I mean? If y'all feel it, hit that super chat. I'm just getting into my bag right now. Some of us gotta come out of the bag. <laughs> come out of the bag. Uh, or getting into your bag. One of the two. Make change. That's what we're talking about. Making change. Giving ourselves um, room to grow. You know what I mean? AD talking about moving. How many of us got to move out of our positions that we are in within ourselves? You know, just, just hanging around, same old people, same old bunch, same co workers, same person, just not inspiring. If it's not inspiring, you just keep it moving. You'll grow. Knowledge is forever moving forward. Thank y'all. <laughs> no payment for this, but this is, I'm just giving out, I'm just giving out credits, credits and love. That's all. These are love shots. Somebody says, uh, um, waking up in a brand new house, only yourself, only yourself liberty. That's right, Jason Henry. Thank you for that. Danny Salinas couldn't even take it. Take it. He dropped five on us. <laughs> Shout out to Danny Salinas. Can you play one minute of Black Republicans on the on the chat, priest? Ah, yes, Black Republicans. You want to? You want it now? Up there. Let's get it over with. Let's go, AD. We can play some music today because the album's coming out, and we got some changes. Exactly. Rihanna said, it's power. Be your best self. Yeah. One minute, though. You lit, so whatever. We're going to do the whole five. Jay, you know nah, I mean? I'm about to go in on this one. Exactly. Coach Bill says, best class on the net. Thank you, bro. And peace be trial beneath the clouds. Illuminati Nazis seek we because crowds. Political parties, armies, wingless owls. We're not over here. Or England bring the kingdoms down. Hiram of Ben, Hieroglyphs, Michael Chess. Try We don't want you to be students and followers. Rivals, politics, idols, marble ship, the venture code, Michael and Crypt, Angelo held the camel through snow. Stabbed 75 times, died in his Versace robe. Laid dead on the Vatican steps. Above the moon glow, the tombs of gold. They think we want you to be the best version of yourself. Mommy said UFOs, they said I'm crazy, I mention babies with crystal skulls. When I mention the 12th dimension and the rest of the stone, they said that's one minute, right? Leave the God alone. And he's sitting there, we want you to be the greater part of yourself. A lot of people want you to, uh, you know, be under them, but it's all about uh, growing. If they ain't trying to help you grow and help you grow to teach others, then you're wasting your time. What's that saying about the fish? The, the old man or the person that gives you a fr fish you eat for a day and teaches you the fish you can eat for a lifetime. You know? So we out here trying to teach you the fish. It's not about the ego. A lot of people live in the ego. Got to replace that. Sorry to my brother. I know he looking. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Inky. But you got to replace the ego with something. Some people call it chakra. Some people call it, you can play it with the better side of yourself. Replace that ego because once that ego begins to eat, it starts to kill you because the ego has, um, it has a hunger for praise or for other people. You know what I mean? And it can fulfill that, that need. You're not eating. Just the ego's eating. It's getting full. You know, when you got to adjust your, gla your glasses, you're really in your bag. It's the most time I think I ever talked. Knowledge for the material. Hey, Vinny Blackledge. Black Lodge. Yeah, I gotta say that right. Black Lodge. Black Lodge. That's right. Word. It's an oracle right there. Vladimir. Hey, good luck. He said, Bro, priest, you got to shout out. Um, he says, You got to shout out my money. You missed my two other super chats, but you did shout out one of them. I'm cool. I'm cool. 
I know you're big. I'm going to big. I'm going to be big one day. Yo, you got the right thing, man. You got the right Vladimir. You got the right idea. I'm going to be big one day. And shout outs to you, brother. We, if we didn't shout you out, we didn't see it. Or, you know, we just missed that one. But I'm glad you came back. Shout out to Vladimir, man. Good looking for that. These glasses are from you know who? Can you dig it? Hey. Can you dig it? I got his frames on. I don't got on Elon Musk frame. Actually, I found his super chat. We can got go it? to it right now. Let's do it. It says, Killer, I just want you to know how big you are. Man, I listen to your videos every day, and they're one of a kind. No other video is like yours. Like you said, keep waiting until you get it. So wait, reap. Right. Peace to you, brother. Yeah. Peace to you. Oh, man. Who we got, Johnny? Let's see. Who we got today, AD? Uh, let's see. We've got... One second. I was looking for his other one. Sure. I think I think we did the other one already. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's in the Zoom. In the so Zoom. John Newsom's Nature's Course. This brother. Hold on. I want to say some other stuff. We got uh, Johnny Newsom today, man. We're gonna talk about music. Priest, why you go so hard on them, priest? I don't think I'll be going hard. I just be talking, but it seems like I'm going hard because we having conversations. We having conversations, no doubt, trouble man. But we having conversation. What's wrong? You know, it's like how you remembering the number. You know what I mean? How you remember a number without writing it down in your phone? <laughs> I'm just making us work. All we doing is just going back and working a little bit more on ourselves. We set up those boundaries. I don't know. I just feel that energy. Setting up certain boundaries and zones where you can get into them. Pardon me, I'm working with my hand. <laughs> Pull up. Give me this. Um, get into this. Oh, okay. I got a text. Word. Doubt. Uh, conversations to save the nations. That's right. Save ourselves first and then everything. You know, you know, it's like that. Um, I got the water boot. I got the water brewed up. So let me get up. Let me get up in here. Today I feel like a, a, a monkey. Monkey king. I feel like a monkey king today. Okay. A jasmine monkey king. And I'm going to pour this up in there. Just to set the mood right, yo. Before we get into this, Johnny Newsom. You got to set up the mood. I mean, you just don't have the girl come over to your crib and uh, you don't have the wine coming out of the your radar, the light kind of dim, you know? Especially with your first impression. You want to set the mood. I can't set the mood. You might just come in and sing a little bit. You know what I mean? Depending on how you feel it. And um, now you got the, you got the, uh, what you got? What you got in the oven, AD? Right now, nothing. No, I'm saying, oh. I'm talking about the mood. You set up the mood because you, you want to get into, you want to get into a build, you got you to gotta pour the tea. You can't just be sitting up there having a build without pouring the tea or getting your coffee brewed just right, right before you start. Hmm. No, you go over to the girl house, she putting on a negligee. Or she might just pop up with some slippers. You know what I'm saying? With just a see-through. <laughs> Mood is right. Got something on the, what you got on the stove? You walking in there. Just rice. Got some rice. Some saffron on the top. <laughs> hmm. Look at her. <laughs> she coming over your crib. What you got in there? You can't just have fish. This <laughs> big fish. I got big fish. Like what? Oh, we get out of here. Sea bad. It's from Chile. <laughs> you gotta yo. It's gotta be something because you get in the mood right. Hey, do you know you the man? Yeah. On this. 
So you can approach wisdom and knowledge. You can uh, knowledge, wisdom, understanding the same way. Sometimes you got to sit, the, set the mood right. You know, you get when you get into a place where you um. That's why the libraries look the way they do. Libraries got books all around them. You know what I'm saying? Even when you go for a job. If we go to a big office or something like that, they have the books right there. They might have a something turning. They might have an incense burning. No, scratch that. I don't know what kind of job you're going for. They got incense burning, maybe a masseuse or something. But they got the books behind them, the big books and the whole mood set up. You're like, damn, yeah, I want to work here. Let's do the same thing with your with your craft when you're setting up. On the craft, when you're setting up to do something, when you're setting up to write, do your poems, or you're setting up to do your dance routine, or whatever. You are trying to put the piece to that invention that you're doing, or your science lab, or you're looking through your telescope. Whatever you're doing, you want the, you want the lights off. You want the shade down, and you're making a move, so now you can adjust yourself and look at the stars peer at them and write down your notes in your lab. You know what I mean? Well, that's Uranus. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's look at Pluto right there. Now you start to see things. <laughs> right, Charles? Charles. Uh, yeah, Coach, Coach Bill says sage. Burning your sage. Hey, do you burn your sage? We got sage? Yeah. Let's get some sage burning. I think it's that time when we get Johnny Newsom. Um, maybe throwing some reggae, burn some sage. Who gonna come up in your zone? Start arguing with that. Man. Oh yeah, cafe music. You sit down. <laughs> That's what I'm doing right now. I got some tea, and, and check it out. Uh, you go through like knowledge. Was, oh, that was good. I'm about to go in. Somebody got their glasses on. Because we talk about nerds ruling right now. Jody said, that's right. Singing Bob Molly, I would love you play. <laughs> exactly. Approach your knowledge like that, man. Growth. Take your time like that. Uh, somebody said, cheers, bro. I'm going to have to pour one to this one. You do one of them long pours. You know what I mean? Then you turn on, when you turn on your fire, you turn on a little bit low. So she can't, she won't complain. <laughs> My you man. Sin, baby. It's time to transcend. Yeah, send a transcend. Twilight Zone said he's chilling. Right? That's what we're doing here today. Uh, hybrid said one love. Peace to Hybrid. I know a cat from my name, Hybrid. Shout out to Hybrid. Bro, why you got those little glasses on? Oh, so my third eye, but I can see big. <laughs> my little glasses on. These are, it's what my man made, man. Hold on, let me adjust them right. Yeah. What is that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, long pause. <laughs> long pause. <laughs> I got some jokes, yo. Yeah. Here's the y'all. We just not the tea ceremony yet, but. Love shots. Santana glasses in the building. Any Black Lodge. No doubt. All right, so sound. <laughs> yeah, it's the type of thing we do, man. Peace, peace, love y'all, man. Love you too. You know what I mean? Uh, we don't tell each other that enough. Or we don't mean it enough. See? I know I'm talking all this stuff, and I got an album coming out called Horoscope. Well, sometimes you need to get to the dark side, too. And the darkness comes to light. Light is within the darkness. Mm -hmm. You know? AD is yeah. staying with us. You got me in the zone now. Waiting yeah. on the label approval. Okay. And we're getting, that, we're getting everything organic now. All right. Um... Good luck and make sure y'all hit that super chat. Let's go in today. We're going to talk about some music. Let's move on to some music. We got Johnny Newsom in the building. Um, he worked with uh, Gustavo. And um, 
Shout out to my man Zion Lex. I spoke to Zion Lex, so he's going. He got. He made a, a remarkable discovery. It's dope. Crazy. It's going to be um, crazy when it come with. You know what I mean? And then we setting up something for um, Paul Scranton to come back. Johnny Newsome in the building. Is he? Is he? Is he? Is he ready? Nah, they're setting up right now. Okay, let him finish setting up. Darkness and light not, cannot coexist. This is law. Out of darkness comes the light. It says uh, a lot of people can't comprehend. It says doc, darkness comprehends it not. Okay. Reggae is great music for guarding. Uh, I have to try that. Uh, salute back to you, Alan Caswell. Ben Frank. Reggae is great music for smoking, too. Yeah. Yeah. That I think it's the what is the idea about reggae music that put you in the mood? It's the vibe, it's the tempo, yeah, and it's yeah. the iry uh, instrumentation. And then you got the lyrics. You know what I'm saying? Could this be love? <laughs> Could this be love? Oh, uh, you're right. You ready to get them in? Could here? this be love? Yeah, 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 exactly. All right, here they are. What's They're good, in. brethren. Peace, how you Yo. doing? Peace. What's Killer good? Priest. What's good? What's good? Peace. What's the deal, my brother? Thank you so much for making time to have me on the podcast. Right. Easy. Thank you for your assistance. It's an honor, a privilege. I'm very humbled to join you all this evening. Right. Nice. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Singing priest. Yes, man. Shout out to uh, Gustavo Guerra, aka producer Plug, for yes. linking us up. Hey, Hi, hey, tell 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 everybody the craft room where y'all hooked up at, where y'all linked up at. Okay, it's an interesting story. Um, I, you know, I got on to watching uh, the podcast um, right after uh, the pandemic started. And uh, there was a guy that started coming on your live feed and he fascinated me. And mm. he had an interesting story he was sharing with you about this shop that he was opening on Canal Street. And I'm in New York and I was really inspired by his vision and his heart oh. <laughs> and your conversations. And, and he was funny, but so sincere. And uh, my family and I live in Brooklyn, and I'm a painter. My studios- We up to Brooklyn. Um, yeah, yeah, in Brooklyn. But I pass through, my, my Q train stop is right on the corner of Broadway and Canal, right by where he said he was opening this shop. Okay, so Q I said, train? Pardon? Q train? Yeah, yeah, the Q train. Okay. So one day I stopped in and you got to remember, Priest, this was at the very beginning of Gustavo's store, too. He had like a Method Man poster and some hats right. and a vision. Right. Right. And uh, and so I knew where it was. But then he came on again on you know, to talk to you. And he you guys started talking about this gentleman, Jordan Maxwell. Shout out to Ceaseless. Yeah. Mm -hmm. R.I.P. Jordan Maxwell, because I once I tuned into that knowledge, I really became interested. And I said, I got to reach out to this guy. So I went into the shop one morning and uh, he was there and I just went right up to him. And, you know, it was like cathartic. I just said, I think well, you got to remember as well, the pandemic was kicking in. Quarantine was happening. I wasn't even supposed to be really outside. And he wasn't, you know, New York was getting hammered right then. Right. And uh, we just made an instant connection. It was automatic and it was beautiful. And we started, and it was great to meet somebody that knew who Jordan Maxwell was, like in the flesh, because, and to share some of the things that I was receiving from the podcast, right? And it was reciprocated. So we started a friendship and, um, Man, and I'll, I'll continue the story because it, it just blossomed. And we're going to tour an exhibition of mine right now uh, that's at the Oklahoma Contemporary Museum in Oklahoma City. And Gustavo actually spun an all wax set at the opening on March 24th. So it went from your podcast 
to this meeting, out to the museum, to this amazing event. And now, you know, our sons, our sons, our little sons sat at the table together at the dinner. Right. Priest, it's just beautiful, man. This bod crap is amazing, man. I know I speak humbly for like thousands of people, man, that you're reaching and it's just growing. And I'm just, I'm just a, a listener and a student and happy to share, you know, what I have here with you. Well, thank you, man. Thank you so yeah. much. Man, that's yeah. coming from me and AD, man, the whole podcast. Hey, what's that shirt you got on? Hey, is that? You know why I wore this? Yeah. This is the Rocket to Nebula. Oh, shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was Lord's. <laughs> okay, yeah, Rocket to Nebula. Okay. It's kind of got the blue and the ink, right? Yes, like the indeed. Lord's Shout out to my man. Yeah. Yeah, C1s. but this is, you know, this album right after Journey to the Planet of the Gods, right? Oh, man, show the Jordan. Yo, I, you know, this album was a pivotal moment, I think, in your oeuvre, you know, of the albums. This was, this, I'd never heard an album like this before. I mean, when Thank Flea you, came on the podcast, I was talking Flea. about this album, you know, I related to what he was saying. It took me on a mental journey that has, that's just grown because you've dropped 10 albums since, <laughs> including, the, you know, this album and Journey to the Planet of the Gods, right? So I got to spend a little People moment on this that. because, yeah. you know what? I, I go to uh, Third Eye and Tenor Color, which for me was a very special album in relationship to what I do and the types of paintings I make, which you'll see. So Third Eye and Tenor Color was really special for me. Then we moved to Lord Sun. AD, you did amazing with Lord Sun. Shout out on that intro. It's like phenomenal. Thank you. It's so strong. It's so balanced. And um, so after that, we went to uh, Divine Intervention. Shout out, because I believe it was the anniversary last week, one he year knows. of that album. Wow. <laughs> wow, man. True Master. Nice. Masterpiece album. Like, really? that They're all so different. But they're, they, they are all like these amazing chapters over these last few years that we've all been living through, man. They're really like jewels. And when you were dropping them right then, you know, the rollout was like beautiful, man. It was like a wave after wave, but it was like, you know, different flavors, different atmospheres, different sound structures, the lyricism, you know, it was like novels, man. And, and uh, so then we went from, uh, divine intervention to uh, Summer End Cafe. Another awesome. personal favorite of mine, just my, you know, my aura, let's just say. I related to it. I loved it. And I was invited to curate an exhibition last summer at the Brattleboro Museum in Brattleboro, Vermont. Mm. And we did a walkthrough tour, virtual, you can find it on YouTube, of that exhibition. It was, it was really great. But I wore the Summer Inn Cafe to do the t-shirt to do that tour, right? Wow. Now, because it was summertime, you know, and uh, <laughs> it, it was the vibe, right? Right. I had it on this morning and I asked my wife, I said, should I wear this again? Because this is kind of my favorite album. But this one represents, like, I really thought about it. <laughs> She's laughed. And she said, he's going to like either one you wear. Why are you overthinking it? But anyway, so any, anyway, pivotal moment. Then we go on to the mantra, right? Mantra was a big album, yes. kind of like had echoes of the soundscape of Lord Sun. You know, it was just, it was everything. Then Ragnarok, right? Mm. Ragnarok, you spent some time on that, but you were moving through albums kind of quickly right then in that mm -hmm. drop session, right? And yeah. Then we went to uh, the three fantastic Superman, right? Let's drop. Now, I think we're at nine right now, if we include Journey to the Planet of the Gods. Wow. And then we end somewhat, right, on Savage Sanctuary. Right. That could be included. That's 10 albums, Priest. And now you have Horoscope coming, which is the 11th. Wow. And, uh, you know, I just want to do a quick review of that because they mean so much to me and they're so inspiring to me. And... These paintings you see in the background are of the last couple of years. They're recent paintings. They're part of an expanded series that I'm working on. And I leaked two of the paintings that are included in the museum show, which we'll see. But mm -hmm. I made these paintings during the, 
height of the pandemic in New York, listening to this podcast, listening to these albums, oh, wow. and maintaining, you know, maintaining, because I'm a painter. I'm here every day in the studio, man. I love it like you do. And I was like, here's a guy, here's an artist that loves, he's just breathing it, man, you know? And it's mirroring out to other art artistic minds and people, it's really inspiring. So, you know, I, I'm honored to wear this t-shirt because it okay. means so much to me, you know? And man. you mean so much to me and that's from my heart, you know? Thank you so much, brother. Say thank you so much, man, for that. Well, yeah. I'm yeah, that's that's for real. Um, I also want to give a shout out, uh, in addition to Gustavo, to Nemo Labrizzi. Nemo. Nemo is a very good friend of mine. Wow! Hold up. Yeah, and you're not gonna remember this, but I'll wow. remember this. About <laughs> yeah, I love Nemo. He's like he's a brother for life. Indeed. Indeed. So shout out Nemo Labrizzi. Shout love out to Nemo, Nemo. man. That's my brother yeah. right there. Yo, yeah. let me tell you, you yeah. can't come to New York without knowing us two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so <laughs> if you'll recall, Nemo had a birthday in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. It was about, say, nine, ten years ago. I think the time's already gone by that fast. Yeah. And you played Heavy Mental. Right. Wow. And I was at that, and it was like kind of a, a you know, a darkly lit club, you were getting ready to go on. I think I gave him a birthday present and a book on the collected work of Vincent Van Gogh, as I recall. Wow. And he turned around and he said, uh, Newsom, this is Priest. And I looked at you and I just saluted, like just <laughs> boom. And you laughed and you said, well, salute to you too. And, <laughs> and it reminded me of when I met Ray Charles. I met Ray Charles in 1987 and he had that a boisterous, like just loveliness to him. And I, I just want to put that out there in addition to Gustavo, because Nemo's really important to me. He did physically introduce you and I briefly at that one time. And um, so, you know, those are two two people that are good friends that I wanted to I wanted to recognize. And I also want to um, take just a moment of silence, if we can, like 10 seconds okay. for both Papa Wu mm. and Jordan Maxwell. Oh, man. Definitely. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Rest I, in I, uh, I met Papa Wu through Nemo. We were introduced, we became friends. I really love Papa Wu. Um, I met him before I met any members or my journey began with Wu-Tang as a, you know, a contributing scribe, if you will. And um, he was a really, really special individual. And, um, you know, I, uh, I, I miss seeing him and we shared a lot of, of laughs together. We, we had a nice energy and um, I wanted to recognize him as well as Jordan Maxwell, who passed on the VIP opening night of my Oklahoma Contemporary show. And I was with Gustavo in Oklahoma City and uh, I got the news the next morning. And it was just so, um, it was a kind of a full circle moment, if you will, uh, for that relationship on discovering uh, the podcraft, really diving into your catalog extensively. I mean, and going back to behind the stained glass, the offering, like we go, you know, the echoes of Walter Reed building up to uh, Journey to the Planet of the Gods. It's, you know, we've been doing this for a while. I mean, we're, I'm gonna share with you, a, they call it a mid-career retrospective. I'm still trying to come turns with that, my friend, just to be honest, because it's kind of heavy, you know, and, uh, but it's, it's 30 years of painting in New York for me, and Beautiful. the show represents uh, 20 of those years, 31 large-scale paintings, um, wow. and uh, wow, man, it just feels so good to share this in a place that I feel so close to. AD, thank you again, because you guys, the way you you handle yourselves are so diplomatic with the guests, you give them space, they can move around. I mean, the scholars, the knowledge that's being uh, 
that flows through this pie craft. The energy is, um, is incredible. And I just wanted to, you know, clap for yourselves, man, for a minute, you know? <laughs> really, so, yeah, yeah. AD, Thank you. You know, yeah. So sometimes when I'm listening, I'm like, AD's going to hop in. I know, oh, he's not. He's being polite. It's like, <laughs> yeah. and vice versa. It's just, you know, it's always, uh, it's always something I look forward to every Monday, Wednesday. I tell people about it. You know, I was at Ghost and Ray's performance on Monday night at Sony Hall for Only mm. Built for Cuban Links. They had a live band. I was talking about the pod crap. I even forgot to tell them I was going to be on. I was just talking about you know, uh, Zion Lex's build and things like this. And I don't know, it's just, uh, it, again, I like how you also say, take your time, slow down. You know, if you have that book to write, you know, if you have a screenplay, you know, if you're a photographer, if you're an MC, if you're like a producer, if you have a dream or a vision, anything you're doing, take your time. You know, it's art, this is the art. and. Uh, and you're gonna get there, you're gonna make it, man. And that energy, we just, this time, this is what it needs, man. We gotta walk in love and not fear. We really do, man. There's just shoving fear in our faces. It's insane, in our ears, everything. But love is so much more powerful, man. And this podcraft is a testament to that, you know? Again, you give the, the landscape for views and opinions to be exchanged. And, uh, you know, it, from all levels, and uh and mm. it's uh it's healthy it's what we need we need more of it so you know I always again say, i thank you for letting me be here man listen i always say if i i was given a chance because i know i like to uh have these conversations just on a regular you know what i mean yeah. so yeah. If I can uh, find some like minds, because people didn't really hear me talk that much, but these are the type of things that we like to talk about anyway. So, and uh, yeah. shout out to uh, Nemo, man. We used to we used to go to parties and talk, still talk like this. You know what I mean? Shout out to you. Yeah. Oh man. So man, that that was very very dope. Very dope. What you thank just you. Said. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Man, yeah. let it. Oh man. So take us on your journey, man. Take us on your journey. You just you went through the whole entire catalog since the pandemic. Off the <laughs> I gotta dome. give you a bomb for that. And that was off the dome. Yeah. I didn't even remember it like that. I was like, damn, let's, okay, yeah, you're right. Let's go journey. in a little bit deeper, if if I may. Oh ask yeah, the on. answer off of Next third eye answer. antenna color. Yes. The lyrics. Yes. <laughs> let's take it back to indigenous yes. tribes. That's right. <laughs> what? Okay, let's do that. Like, <laughs> there's a lot of there there. Look behind me. Let's take it back to indigenous tribes. Like, wow. Wow. you know what I mean? And it's yeah. like people that, you know, I, I take, I have a, an 11 year old son and a six year old daughter. And um, when I was listening to Zion Lex the other day, talk about how they restructured the area of the Zion. wing of Egypt in the, in the Met. I'm like, oh, I have to take my kids up there to see that. Cause I, they're growing up in, the urban setting and going to museums and these things and we go in and we discuss these ideas and uh and you know it's uh it's inspiring so when you see something it can whatever it is you take a little bit of it a little bit of a lyric priest mm. like let's take it back to indigenous tribes and yeah. you expand that out there's Thank so you. much there there man there's yeah. so much there when you were up in alaska the episode yeah. When you were in Alaska and, and you showed the landscape and you were out there, I mean, you, you, people can take that into a whole chapter of uh, ideas and inspiration. And not, I'm, not, I'm not saying like echo it verbatim what you're doing because you're doing your thing. Yeah. But it can springboard, say, for instance, like myself, something that could lead somewhere else, right? And that's the dialogue that we're sharing and we're engaged with here. And it's a community and it's like this giant table and you come to your table on the podcast and you lay down your, you know, what you have, a subject, you know? And then going back to Jordan Maxwell, you go under there and you, you go, you stand underneath and you check it out and you come to understanding and that's growth. And bro, the growth of the mind is as important as the physical body. We all know that, but you address that here too. I mean, AD goes into that with the health and, and I've learned a lot there too, but it's, um, 
It's just really positive. It's really, really positive. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, man. Yeah, man, from the heart. You know, one thing, I mean, we'll, we'll get to the museum, but I okay. want to get this out to just share my thoughts and feelings for this. You know, one thing I like is when scholars come on and they show their books. And I try to screenshot them before they take them <laughs> down or get the right title sometimes, mm. revisit it later. But I've got a couple here, if I may, Okay. just before we get into it. And I've got stacks and stacks through the pandemic. It was reading and painting. Right. But this guest of yours. Ooh. Oh, that's. This, yes. Yes. You got that one? Yes. Yes. All yes. right. We got that book. And I'll go here. through these quickly. Yeah, I mean, from now it's born. That's from now it's Yeah. Sophia Stewart, if you're watching. Sophia shout Stewart. Out. This is amazing. Yeah. This was amazing. That was on oh, my back. That's Sophia, Sophia yeah. Stewart. Yeah. Shout out to we Sophia. Gotta, we got to go. To, yeah. Okay. So when I was listening to Gustavo and you and AD discuss Jordan Maxwell, and those were interesting episodes building up to his appearance, you know, and right. uh, when he came on and you guys were speaking with him and he was discussing uh, passing the torch. He wasn't, you guys were, and you asked him, yeah, didn't you say you passed the torch to Santo? Benace? And he said, no, no, I didn't say that. It was kind of a strong thing. It was like, we yeah. got to ask him about that again, right, AD? I was referring to an interview where he was talking with Santos. Yes. And, yes. And, and Jordan was talking about how he was doing so much and then how Santos kind of just expanded on the astral theology, specifically the astral theology stuff and uh, sovereignty. Correct. 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 So with that being said, this is a really, this is another book I'm going to hold up. Mm. And I, I would, I would recommend Which this one. It's, it's not on Jordan Maxwell's like top uh, search, but it's an excellent one that addresses the astro theology in relationship to shamanism. Mm. Oh man! Which is, an, which is an amazing juxtaposition. And priest, mm. I'll send you guys a copy of it. Please um, do. Nice. I will. I will. So that day when I heard about him. When I, after the interview, I went on and I started buying his books. I bought every book I could find and I was able to find this sweet gem mm. online and they only had one copy and it's signed. What? Who's, who's it's that by? It's a signed copy. Look how thin it is, Priest. It's like in plastic. It's a Jeremiah? real treasure in my library. And it's a nice photograph of him with his library too. I'm just gonna go through a few more wow. here. You know. If you're going Johnny into Newsom Jordan going Maxwell, in. you're going to land with Manny, going Manly in. P. Hall. It's mm -hmm. just destiny. It's just destiny. So these are like two really good ones here, you know? Mm -hmm. These are really two that just for your audience, you know, just to run through them. Because like myself, when the, when the guests show uh, the books, it, it's, it's interesting. Um, the Emerald Tablets are amazing. Hey. The Emerald Tablets are amazing. Uh. This is a very good book on symbolisms like ancient of the ancient world. Um, right. My iconography comes from the idea of, of these different episodes within time and these landscapes of the mind, which is another reason why the builds are so fascinating on this uh, podcast, because, yeah. you know, you can you obviously go into those regions, you can bring it up to contemporary settings, which mm. we're going to do right now which is, this is amazing. This is a great read. And this is from Ray Kwan. And this is a story of nice. his life called From Staircase to Stage. Nice. And I just want to bring it up there because Ray Kwan means so much to me nice. as a friend, as a creative. Mm -hmm. And uh, those are just some books I wanted to share with you guys. Beautiful, yeah. <laughs> There's one yeah. I want to throw in there too. Um, it's called The Light of Egypt by Thomas yes. H. Burgoyne. Get out wow. of here. And a, a lot of people don't know about the connection between Egypt and astrology. So if you got to check that out, it's called The Light of Egypt by Thomas H. Burgoyne. It's pretty popular. And it's not that expensive, but you can, you can get this on Amazon. But I'm still wow. on it right now, but it's pretty amazing. But yeah, you check that, that out. Book? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm what, about, what do you mean by I'm working about, on like, it? I'm like a fifth... What do we on it? I'm a fifth way through. I'm a fifth way through, but it's it's amazing. But check it out. Wow. It's the Light of Egypt by Thomas H. Burgoyne. It's pretty cool. 
We have to do Beautiful. some research on it's, Thomas H. Bo- it's, to- yeah, it's the science of the soul and the stars. So check that out. Wow, okay, I've never heard of that. You yeah. just you came out with a book we never heard of. Yeah, that man. Well, we don't really that's talk cool. about books too much, but that's what I'm working man. on now. Go ahead, go ahead, John. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm thankful that I should have been able to get to that title, lady. <laughs> yeah. Oh. No, for sure. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. So I. Uh, Astrolo- you mean astronomy, getting- right? Yeah. Astrology. Astronomy. Yeah. Astrology. astrology. We have to call up Tui. <laughs> astronomy is the anatomy of the well, stars. They cha- okay. And astrology is the yeah, science just, uh, of how it works astro- within us. Okay. Right, no doubt. Yeah, but I yeah. digress. Go, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. And astrotheology. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I digress. Yeah. Okay. 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 We're going so, in. So I. Uh, I'll see that book later. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I was born in Kansas. I was I was born in the middle of America, right. and um, I uh, I grew up in Dodge City, Kansas, where they have Boot Hill and where the westerns happened. Like that's where I grew up as a child. And my parents and my brother, we moved to Oklahoma um, when I was ten, and um, so I grew up in that region of the world and America. But I was always an artist and paint, painting and drawing, and I, I took it really seriously. And uh, but I really didn't have any. Uh, I didn't grow up around art. I didn't grow up around museums. You know, I lived on the prairie, really, mm. in that landscape. And mm. um, one of the things, also, priest, I really enjoy is when you sometimes mention the idea of if life is stressing you out. If you got a heavy weight on you or you're going through something, take a walk, go out in the park, you know, look at the, look at the trees, look at a lake, you know, the, the, you know, get yeah. in this, get in the tune with that energy and then go back to it and you're going to be good. And that's facts, man. That's real, real facts. And so uh, it's something I'm going to touch on later. And um, I, I grew up around that kind of buzz and hum of this uh, horizontal landscape you know my kids grow up grow, are growing up in a vertical landscape and it's a different kind of perception you know it's like comparing east coast hip-hop i believe to west coast hip-hop it's it's like with you guys the mcs of the east you're up here it's close it's a different kind of picture and with in the west coast it's more of a vast kind of rhythmic um situation to the sound structures and i i it's something I interpret like that anyway. Um, I thought everybody forgot my birthday on my 14th birthday. And we, I, we were a tight family and it was weird and weirded me out. And to make a long story short, my right. father ended up flying me down to the Dallas Museum of Art. Mm. And it was a surprise, it was a surprise. And I saw uh, an American pop masterworks show of New York pop art there. And right. it was Roy Lichtenstein, James Rosenquist, Klaus Oldenburg, Jim Dine, Andy Warhol. I mean, it just went on and it blew my mind. And I had that epiphany moment. Right. You know, I don't know if you were standing around one day and something clicked or you heard something and you're like, I'm an MC. I'm going to do this. Mm. I'm going to do this. Mm. But I had that moment then. And so when mm. I went back to Oklahoma, I knew I had to go to New York and I set out on this odyssey and, uh, I, uh, I found a school in Northern Michigan called Interlock and Arts Academy, and I was able to go to it for painting. And then that took me over to the East Coast for college and schooling. And I got to New York in 1992, which as wow. you know- I mean, And you're from Kansas, right? 90. What? Not cut. You're from Kansas, right? Yeah. Would you happen yeah, to know to anybody it, that was in a tin suit or a straw man? Or Dorothy, I'm just joking with you, go ahead. Maybe the lion. <laughs> ah, the lion. Maybe the lion. <laughs> and, oh, let me give no, one big up to her. Let me tell you something. Go ahead. It's go like, ahead. Look at, you look at the allegory of the cowardly lion. Can we look at that for a minute? Yes. Let's look at that. He needed courage. He always had it in him. He was the king of the beasts, mm-hmm. man. Mm-hmm. But he just lacked it. So he had to get to Oz to like just realize for himself that it was always in him, right? Mm. And uh, I go, I'll keep going back to this point that we got to move in love right now more than ever and not fear. You cannot be a coward 
about anything that your heart is set on. You have to move with your heart in through love, man. That's like, it's gonna, it's gonna come back to you, man. I'm telling you, I'm telling all the people out there, it's just real. You know, you can feel me on this. I'm just trying to be honest. So you bring that up. It's like, you know, the scarecrow, the tin man, everybody needed something that was always within them. And, and this is interesting, Priest, because I did get to New York. I made it in New York. I've done New York and I had to go back and do the biggest show of my career in Oklahoma. What? Nice. I would have never dreamed that, bro. Ever, ever. It's mm. like, you know what I mean? It's like that thing that you're always searching for. It's in you. It's already there. It's like, so you just got to recognize it and grow. And then life gets really beautiful, man. Really, This is like the most amazing exhibition I've ever worked on. Shout out to the entire staff at the Oklahoma Contemporary. They're amazing. They're great people. And uh, I'm just, I'm humbled, man. I'm really blessed. I'm humbled. And, and again, I thank you for letting me share it with you on the podcast. Man, listen, one thing about the books that you show, one, one thing that stood out, out of all those books on astrology and all the dope stuff, you pulled out Raekwon book. And let me give shout outs to one of the dopest voices and storytellers you know what i'm saying raekwon and just to just to be a part of that you know what i'm saying that is dope man shout out to raekwon for for doing the book i even know i know it's luxurious you know what i'm saying shout out to raekwon for yeah. even doing the book i know it's luxur yeah. luxurious with with some intelligence in it you know coming from a um uh og as himself and you know uh uh a uh, uh, kingpin what i want to say a uh, kingpin you know what I'm saying, of his pen game and um, yeah. on, on, on other levels, but just one of the dopest voices in hip hop in uh, Raekwon. Yeah, that was dope. absolutely. That, it goes along with that, with the books that you pulled out. That was crazy. Cause I would Thank put you. Raekwon up, you know, Raekwon up on, the, on that shelf like that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I actually texted him today to hey. tell him I was gonna be on tonight. So if, if you're watching Ray, I love you. Thank you for all of the support and creative Shout out to brotherhood the chef. over the years, man. Chef. Shout out to the chef. Yeah, and and I'm gonna and that's gonna lead into something really uh, amazing in terms of like you know building <laughs> up things in unexpected ways, priest. Let's just say that because you know people that are listening don't know my relationship or what got me to uh, this type of. Uh, relationship I have with Chef. And I'm going to share that with you now, if I may. OK, let's do it. Um, I, uh, let's I was painting. I, I, my studio at the time was located on Spring and Barrack for 17 years. Um, mm. And uh, so it was very uh, easy to get to downtown, ground floor, et cetera. I had an art advisor call me up that knew the work and said, I have somebody I want to bring by the studio. And, and is that possible? And I said, uh, of course. And so she came by and I knew her. She's totally lovely. And uh, she brought somebody with her who eventually turned out to be Ray's manager on this project. Um, mm. But they wouldn't tell me who it was. Chef didn't show up yet. They just came in the studio and we had the paintings were there. I was getting ready for an exhibition. And so the timing was good. Mm. Um, then we waited around. We had lovely conversation. We waited, we waited. And uh, then we got a phone call. He's outside. I didn't know who it was. They went mm. out. I stayed in the studio. They got him. We brought him in. I had no idea who this was going to be. Uh, All of a sudden, the door just flies open and the chef comes in the studio. Yeah, yeah. I just was like, oh, my God. Okay, okay. Mm. Here we go. And uh, <laughs> he looked at the paintings and he, he was just so lit up with uh, curiosity and enthusiasm and inspiration. I really felt those energies at the same time. And, and another thing I really liked about it is he always looked me in the eye. You know, Ray always looked me yeah. in the eye. I always looked him in the eye. And, oh, okay. I, and that was real instant trust, you know? Mm. And it was like, boom, right from the start. And, I thought it was interesting. I didn't know what was happening. So he went over and sat in my chair, like the big chair, right off the bat. I loved it. I was standing there. I put on Wu Chan from, um, 
from the Shaolin versus Wu Tang album, and it just was like blasting on the speakers. Wu Tang, uh, Wu really loud. I didn't even know yet. He was laughing. We're having a great time, just kicking it, right? Right. Then, and the and the ladies said, "Well, what? Uh, tell you know, tell him what you're doing." He said, "I I saw your paintings, and I'm starting a new pro album project, and I'd like to invite you on to do the artwork and." I, wow. And I took it seriously because I knew, you know, it was great energy, but I also took it very seriously, Priest, because of the respect and the understanding of what it was. And I had met Papa Wu by then, like I said early in the introduction. And, and I really respected this. And I said to him right off the bat, I said, this isn't something that I do. I don't do artwork for album covers, et cetera. But if I were to do something like this, it would be an honor to do something like this with you. So yes, and it was, it was amazing. And they said to Ray, tell him the title of the album. And they kind of kicked back is he's so creative. Ray is really in his own lane and he mm. takes his time. It's very methodical. He thinks about it. Yeah. He's a perfectionist. And he said, Most the title is Fly International Luxurious Art. And uh, that was amazing. And the acronym being Fila, the Fila album. Yeah, right, yeah. right, Fila. And so we, I thought to myself, okay, he's going to choose a painting that he likes. We'll give it to graphics. Graphics will drop in the top and it'll take two weeks and this will be amazing. It ended up taking two and a half years. Mm. And the reason is, is because it expanded. It really became a journey of an album. And, it, and there were tons of drawings to be done and other iterations and um, not just the cover, which I have a copy of here. Right. You, so, are you telling us you did, a, you did the cover? Yes. Wow. I drew that with a pencil. Wow. You should... it, it took me 11 and a half months. Shout out to Eric Wiley, who did the graphic layout on the design. <laughs> This is the back, the stack of coins. Yeah. And then wow. I'm actually going to open this. So anyway, Priest, it started a real, I mean, it's a story. And uh, if we have time, I, I don't want to take up too much time because I know we've got the tour to do, but I, of, of the museum show, but let me just go through this for a quick, this scroll. Oh, we went wow. in there on all the liner notes to wow. adjust the punctuation marks to make sure we got everything it's a hundred percent. Because wow. this was for him, you know. There was just no, there was just no other way that it wasn't going to be perfect, perfect. So this is the wow. Final. That's and like a I coin, that. like a yeah. gold coin. Beautiful. Exactly. And you see the W. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, Yo, go ahead. So real quick, so I, I'm I'm going with this because because it took the time it needed to take. And I was in the studio painting for exhibitions and, you know, right. my own work. Right. And, but I was going to the museums. I was going to the Met. Like when Zion Lex was talking about that wing of the Met, with, you know, I was in those wings studying these uh, images and uh, statuary and uh, in, the, I, in Iraq looking at the wing figures because conceptually we were discussing ideas of the combination of, a, of the wings you know, mm. but ghost is the falcon, right? You can't do the falcon. Ghost is the falcon. Right, right. But Ray was yes. talking about, like what you said, he's connected. He's right. connected. He's heavy. He's connected to the street, you know? Right. There's a combination there. It was like his journey. Right. So what we did they both through are. the sign of this, I yeah. created the the griffin, the fila guardian, if you will. And, mm -hmm. uh, and that became the icon for the album. And, um, but while I was doing that priest, I said to myself, I was just having visions. My, my, my mind was changing. I, was, I said to myself, I gotta go in on this and I, it's gonna take the time it's gonna take and we're gonna walk it all the way. Yeah. But I'm gonna become Raekwon's scribe. This was ancient. I was That's like crazy. dealing with ancient stuff. And it, you know, if you're going to do that, you really got to do that. So I, I was walking around. I was like, I was his scribe. And, and it was, a, and I said, and it's going to spill over into the studio area. And um, so I started painting these giant 
cats, and we're going to see some of them in the museum. Right. It culminates in what we have in the background and building out this new series. Um, and it's just a triumph. So here we wow. go. Oh, we're this on is, the is, AD. This is see that AD? Yes, sir. Nice and big. This is your art room. All, right. All right. So that painting we're looking at is 15 feet wide. It's That's titled Rogue crazy. Arena. And that painting took two years oh to paint its oil on canvas. And wow. And and so and that came out of like just you know a priest again allowing yourself to be open enough to try new things and see what works and see what doesn't and what works stays you know and you fertilize it you grow you help it nurture and uh, and that's what came in terms of what I did so it was through that journey with Ray mm. that got me to this section of the exhibition now I'm going to tell you guys what was interesting was. The, uh, the preview was on March 23rd. The public opening was the 24th. Then I uh, had an event on the 26th, flew back to New York on the 27th. And two days later, Ray happened to be in Oklahoma City. Mm. So he was able to tour the exhibition to see um, the Fila work that we did in the museum. So please think of the full circle. I mean, here I'm at the Met. Like we were working years on it here. And then the final, I won't call it a product because it's really artwork, man. You know, it's art. Found its way back to a museum. Here we are in a museum looking at the stuff and it was just, and it's in a contemporary setting, mm. you know? So I, I, I was really happy that Ray could see it in the flesh and mm. shout out again to the staff at the Oklahoma Contemporary. Um, when I saw him on Monday night, That's he fine. just had nothing but glorious things to say about everybody. And yeah. here we are in the show. So thank you for listening to that as we segue into Nature's Course. And for the title of the exhibition. For those at home, this is not a video. This is a live tour that we're getting yeah. right here. Yes. Only on the podcraft. That is dope. Hey. Is that Jeremiah? Yeah, in the, yeah, Jeremiah? Yeah, probably got an NFT okay. there. Well, Ladies and gentlemen, this is the director of the Oklahoma Contemporary Museum, Jeremiah hey. Davis. Wow. Can we please give a round of applause? What's up, for Jeremiah? This man? Peace. Thank you, yes, Priest. Peace, AD. Peace, John. Make sure I don't clap. Peace. Clap like that. Jeremiah, clap like can you give us a few words, if you will? Yeah, absolutely. Welcome, everybody, to Oklahoma Contemporary. We're in the Kirkpatrick Main Gallery for John Newsom, Nature's Course, the artist's first mid-career retrospective. Uh, it's a homecoming for the artist. Uh, we were founded about 30 years ago, but we opened this new facility that we're in just two years ago amidst the pandemic. Uh, mm. We've emerged from that, and uh, I'm really pleased to say we're flourishing, and this show is a part of our ongoing growth and outreach. We've had lots of positive experiences with our viewers. We've had people from all around the world who've seen the show so far. Any of the listeners out there on the podcast, Philip Priest, AD, we'd welcome you anytime if you want to come through. The show is on view until August 15th. As John has mentioned already in the podcast, it features 31 large-scale paintings that have been created over the last 20-plus years, featuring the artist's signature style. John paints in a unique way uh, that no other artist can rival. He's got a, an abstract gestural brushstrokes that he's working with, which recalls action painting from the mid-20th century. These hard-edged, really bright geometric shapes in the middle ground of each painting, and then these beautiful depictions of flora and fauna that really create rich allegories of the human experience. So uh, I, I jumped in frame just so everyone can see the scale of these works, just for the record, I'm 6'4". Wow. Um, in front of Rogue Arena, uh, I'm dwarfed. We'll, we'll oh, go this back is dope. and check it out. This is dope. You can see the scale, this painting. Wow. Here is 14 feet, nine feet tall. Uh, I don't know how well it reads on the camera, but you can really see the texture and the paint, the impasta that John applies. Uh, it really, you have to see the, the works in person to really wow. appreciate the yeah. artist's touch. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's beautiful, man. Damn! Yeah, the eye of the tiger. Yo, I, the groove's almost like the tiger's breathing. Thank alive. you, priest. Yeah, Thank this, you. And, John, and John will tell you, this painting will follow you wherever you go. 
the mm. eyes will always be trained on you if you can see it. It's really, it's an amazing effect. Thank you. Wow. Jeremiah, can we see the two leopard paintings to the left of the tiger? Yeah, absolutely. Wow. So priest, these two paintings are from a current series Ooh. that are that I'm working on here in this in, in the city. You can see them in the studio here. But I I you know when you're releasing these albums, sometimes you'll give us some Easter eggs, right? It's like, all right, I'm gonna hit them today. I'm in this mood, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this snippet out or whatever, AD. A song comes along, Lord Son, there were a couple of these. Mm -hmm. And I said to myself, well, why don't we do that? Why don't we just put two in there? It's not the complete series. They haven't been shown in their entirety, but let's do that. And, and I was really happy with how it turned out. Nice fire, yo, Thank leopard! You. Wow, that is incredible. Is that a jaguar or leopard? That is a leopard, and cool. um, it's oil on canvas. Mm. The backgrounds are painted no. last. I love the eyes, man. Yo, that's crazy. Thank you. It's ha have you applied a uh, value, just out of curiosity, for uh, this painting right here, for example? In terms of, like, if someone wanted to buy it, I'm sure. Yeah, it's um, it's a you know, it's a proper museum show. It's non-commercial mm -hmm. entity right now, but in the gallery settings, um, they are uh, available for um, you know, collection. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure you have to set up an auction for such um, profound. Well, artwork. to expand on your question, uh, the majority of the paintings were are all on loan from collections. Mm. So these, these pieces, with the exception really of these two right now, haven't been, all the other ones have been exhibited. And uh, you know, the collectors were very generous in lending uh, the works uh, for the run of the show. We had pieces coming in because of COVID. We worked within the uh, continental United States uh, because there were a couple paintings in Europe and Japan that I would have liked to have got in, but there was just too much with protocol with COVID. So we had pieces coming in from, you know, New York, of course, uh, San Francisco, Houston, uh, Little Rock, Palm Beach, like all over the United States. And um, let's go in on this what? one. This one's interesting. Wow. Go, go. So, you know, um, Yo, we gotta, the Peregrine Falcon. All right. See, this painting is titled Beyond the Horizon, Priest. Right. Um, it was first exhibited in Los Angeles. Shout and out then to it was Israel. exhibited. Israel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it was exhibited again in New York and now in Oklahoma. So it's been across the country several times. But it's, um, you know, again, some of the builds on the podcraft, when you go into Horace, you know, and the 12 steps across the sky and time, and you get into like, you know, the universal clock and these things like that. Oh, I, I go to things like this because mm. there's those signs and symbology, AD. I know you wow. really know your stuff about this. It wow. feeds into the allegories uh, that mm. I build up within the structure of the iconography. The I'm, Pelican you know, Falcon, yes. I'm curious. And again, priest, I'm not always completely 100% conscious of it. Like, I'll come back. Like, if you have a lyric, like some song that's like really complex and you come back to it a couple of years later or something, you find it, you're like, oh man, there was that. I didn't quite remember it at the time like wow. that. Wow. So you beautiful, know? yo. I noticed the red sun that you bring up often there in the background. Yes, yes. It's reminiscent. And you know, we'll get into so this a little bit. We'll get into this a little bit because again, like, Within the, within the subject matter and the motifs of the paintings, mm -hmm. there aren't any uh, humans in the pieces. It's like real naturalism or kind of, uh, you know, uh, like timeless geometric, I'll say shapes, Look at you know? Eyes, yeah. I'll hmm. say shapes because, and it rotated be, between the circles, the square, and the triangle. There's a section with uh, varying motifs within that and beyond. They're not all geometric based in the background, but it's really there for pictorial structure. But what also becomes interesting is how those things as shapes mm. 
relate to aspects of our histories beyond human history, you know, in the world. And uh, these, and, and, and it can, it's highlighted within a lot of the builds on the podcast from historians and scholars and, you know, the, uh, the circle in the black cubes, the, if you go to, uh, can we go to In the Blood? Is that possible? Okay, hold on, hold on. I want, I want to say something about that picture. That picture almost looked 3D. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. It yeah, looks 3D I think to me. That, you, know, you know what, Priest? So again, we're seeing this on a, we're seeing the readings on a flat screen. Mm -hmm. But if you're able to see the exhibition in the flesh, oh, That's thank crazy. you, videographer. Thank you, videographer. Yes, videographer. They're very tactile. Yes. surfaces camouflaged they're, yeah and they're built up they're oil they take months to years that took two and a half years i think wow yeah you're the real deal thank you the real deal and thank I know you can you see every red sun is exactly the same size yeah wow. that symmetry is must be challenging and ad it, they're painted last oh wow it's, that's what? Gotta, and then your mind goes like this. wow yeah yeah priest because wow. it looks like they're the birds are in the foreground, but technically, and AD, this will go to some of your sound structure, right? Yeah. It's painted last, but that's in the, that's, you know, in the building of the process, mm. in the craft. Mm. He did the suns in post. Correct. Mm. <laughs> Correct. John, you, you want to see in the blood? Uh, yeah, we could stop by nature's course too on the way. Yeah, let's hit nature's course. That's awesome. This entire museum is your artwork. That's amazing. Insane. Yeah. Thank you, AD. It's an extraordinary experience. So, Ooh, you know, I like this one. Thank you. And the this eagle. is the keynote piece in the exhibition. This mm. is the title piece, Nature's Course. Mm. Wow. And, um, you know, I, I finished this a few weeks before the, the painting was sent from New York to uh, Oklahoma. And, uh, Boy, I'll tell you to see it in that space to be able to get back from it is is incredible. It's an incredible experience, you know. That's amazing. That's amazing. Thank you. Yo. Thank Life. you. Life. 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 Focus on Life. So what I was saying a little bit about oh, more wow. about the fact that you know it is a focus on naturalism and flora and fauna and allegories of the natural world. The human, the viewer, completes the picture. Mm. You know. So if a painting of mine is installed in Paris or Kyoto or Tel Aviv or Sacramento, you know what I mean? It's like people can have an understanding of it. There's an approach to it. You know, it's just our experiences and the landscape and our histories that, you know, devise what our, what our moods and feelings and interpretations are going to be. Because really, if you allow yourself to let the paintings envelop you, mm -hmm. you know, it's going to give you an experience. There is a track you guys played uh, some weeks ago, Birds. Mm. Birds it goes with it. is a killer priest. You know that track? Yes, yes. I was. That's a very that. interesting track. Yes. That's a very interesting track. And I was working on this painting when I was listening to Birds. Wow. Forest wow. album. Yeah, that's uh, uh, Forest of the Happy Ever After. Yeah, maybe he can contribute Correct. for the inside cover. Yes, yeah, man, because you got, you. Uh, that's the whole album that I got called uh, Forest of the Happy Ever After. That's, and it, it looks like. Yeah, you, you know, should. Welcome like, to my world. You guys should talk after world. the show about yeah, that. Definitely, because definitely. I would love that, Priest. Word. Yeah, he might be able to contribute to that. Yeah. It's I would be honored. It's, it's man, be honored. Are, it, I would be honored. It's, it's launching this summer, so. Yeah. It's organic. Hey guys, I mean, ancient skin is an epic painting. Can we show priest and AD ancient skin? Amazing. Thank you. Thank you, AD. Mm -hmm. So this is a 10 by 10 foot painting of these iguanas mm. and it's titled ancient skin. What? I mean, I like, that word ancient, you know, mm -hmm. your guests, the scholars, the, the ancient knowledge, the ancients, you know, Jordan Maxwell, the ancients, you know, we, we have to remember the ancients are today. Mm -hmm. The ancients are today. And we have to remember the dialogue of that, you know, it really, you know, it really is. Uh, so when I go in there, 
the idea of these giant reptiles. I mean, when you're in front of that's this painting, so that thing's Ill. like eight feet tall, Chris. It looks like a crawl off the limb. It's wild. How long but did it, was, it take you to um, paint that? <laughs> that was a few years. That was two years. I'm seeing the pattern of he puts in shapes and geometry in within this nature. Correct. Mm. So this one has squares. The other one had circles. Mm. Correct. Correct. Which and we'll get to some others. They're variants also. There's some naturalists like in the paintings here in the background. You see these palms are functioning more as the abstractions. It's like mm -hmm. almost like the geometry has grown into recognizable form in the patterning. Yeah. Um, so let's go to Labor of Love, which is next uh, to Ancient Skin, because there's an interesting New York story. Wow. Here. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. That's like a shirt I wear. Yeah. That is crazy. See, these are the paintings yeah. that should be at the Colorado airport, not the ones that they have up there now. <laughs> right. So, so <laughs> yeah, this you're right painting, about that, Andy. Yeah. yeah. This painting was shown in New York in an exhibition that opened five days prior to 9 11. Oh, wow. Shout out to Jimmy B. That is so, crazy. I love the owls. You know, I love the owls right there. Yeah. Well, All of and owls. I know that. So what I want to do off of this, guys, is if we could go to three paintings for priests, father figure, shadow land, and resting place. Oh, wait, stop by in the blood. Just in the blood would be good. There's too, there's too many oh, hits. Wow. Yeah, well, yeah. we're going to see them all. Yeah. Right. Right. We can. Thank wow. you. Oh, look at this one. So, you know, the... The idea of a soundscape is very interesting to me with reference to what you guys do in mm. terms of like the pictorial this structure. Is, is that the, wolves? Yes, correct. Wow. So this painting's titled In the Blood. And I like it, bro. Ooh, baby, yeah. I like you saying that. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, and so, That's you know. That's a real wolf, yo. Those wolves, oh, man. Yeah. It's a raw painting, Priest. You said it. I mean, it is raw. It's a live wire. It's like putting your hand on a live active wire. And uh, I was so uh, proud of Jeremiah and the curatorial team for embracing this painting because honestly, and we'll go to Solstice next to this painting, is when we were looking at the imagery, it was like, oh my gosh, there's wolves and it's like attack. It's, it's actually one of the quietest walls. It's, mm. it's a really quiet wall. Um, just with the color and the tonality of everything. It mm -hmm. doesn't have that robust color to it. Yeah. But, you know, and I'm really a shout out again to the curatorial team and Jeremiah at the museum for their expertise and also their openness to embracing it because they, they really did an excellent job, I have to say. So we it go to a, this. It was an honor, John. Wow. Thank you, Jeremiah. So we go to the moon here, right? This, mm. this texture on this moon, AD, this was insane to paint this one, man. Wow. Yo, like, because like I just got lost in there. I got lost in that texture. So it's, it's, it's the wolf moon. Yeah, it's solstice. It's actually titled Solstice, that painting. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Which one are we looking at right there? Looks like. Yeah, small now we can back up from that. Canyons. And Let's. Uh, wow. Let's go d down uh, to the left again and see Summer Swarm and Honey Hunter because these two are interesting with the motifs of the bees and the wasps. Summer Swarm. This is Summer Swarm on the right. It came in from a collection in uh, San Francisco with the honeycomb patterns. Again, yeah, the hexagon. Priest. The background was painted last. The honeycombs were painted after the bees and the sunflowers and everything. Uh, and it's this is great. It's all oil painting. And Amazing. But it just shows the geometry that's within nature. Correct. That's beautiful, that's awesome. right? Correct. And, and everything's precise. Look at the, mm -hmm. the, oh man, the hexagon shapes. Yes. <sighs> yes. Yes. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Uh, bees are one of the greatest architects. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So and to paint that form. Yeah, you killed it. Through paint was very interesting. I have to raise a glass of my uh, blueberry white tea here to take a little break here. You know I'm coming with the tea. Okay. If I come with the Rockets and Nebula t-shirt, Priest, I'm coming with the tea. Hey, hey. it's a tea shirt. T-E-A shirt. <laughs> there you <laughs> there we go. go. We, we keep it going here. We keep it going here. <laughs> 
So yeah, let's right. go to Honey Hunter now on the left because that gives you an expanse of that because of the gesture. Now I painted that background with a bucket of oil paint and a mop, right? <laughs> no, yeah, so it was, yeah, so it was laid on the ground and I just went and blasted it like a hurricane, let right. it dry, put it back up on the wall, went in with all the foreground imagery after that. So it's like I use brick lane spatulas to sling the texture of the oil paint with oh, the inclusion man. of the mops and you know, so when we're looking at things and there's like hard edge geometry or very intricate uh, passages, there's also this like breath of improvisation. Like I can't really control that area, you know? And so that's where the, the balance comes in of everything, you know? The composition. Man, composition. I want to show painting, man. <laughs> that painting is crazy. I want to look at that all crazy. day. That is crazy. The good, good crazy. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Crazy, not good. Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> Thank you. I think great yeah. is an understatement. This painting is crazy, yo. It's... <laughs> wow, you see the hair on the bees and the eyes, the reflection. Yes, 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 this how, is true. How, I got to ask, how long did it take you to paint this one, man? I'm sorry. That was about a year and a half. Oh, man. Yeah. Really? I mean, one of the sites that I want to go to at some point is the Valley of the Kings and see the paintings in the Valley of the Kings. Because I think about stuff like that, you know? Like this painting, the people in that region of the world at a particular time, mm. if they interface with this painting, you know what I mean? Like I think about stuff like that. If there's a, if there's a way to touch hearts like that, like, you know, I have to go back to Ray and Ghost on Monday night. Ray, at the beginning of the show, he said, We're gonna, I'm gonna touch your heart. Mm. He wasn't kidding. He said that honestly and sincerely, and he did it. It manifested. I'm going to touch your heart. Yeah, and, Ray and you know, Ghost, look, they look real good on that show, man. I said, dad, yo, they was, I wish I was yes. there, man. They, yo, yeah. salute, Absolutely. Salute. Salute to the both. So that was let's, uh, oh, okay. This is homecoming. This is kind of like an allegorical self-portrait. I mean, that was a return to my homeland. You know, mm. and as you'll notice, the scissor tail flycatcher is the state bird of Oklahoma, and it's acting in that painting as the geometry does in other areas of paintings. The you scissor know? tail, yeah, wow. the scissor tail flycatcher. Wow. Yes, All right, give it up. Ew, let's Thank give this you. guy a clap. Uh, Look at the details in the wings. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, AD. I mean, it's like, oh, wow. You know, one of the one of the things that one of the great lines that you uh, you repeat sometimes on the podcast as a reminder, it's an accent is uh, consider the ant. Yo, consider the ant for real. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's definitely yeah. it, man. Awesome. Thank it, you. It feels like it's moving. You know, if y'all yeah. come on, podcast, y'all look Very at life -like, that. Very lifelike. Yeah. Yeah. But man, he's he's getting the highlights. You see the shadows he's creating. AD, you know yeah. artwork too. AD. I mean, I'm, I'm a fan. The, I'm a fan. Yeah. Thank you. There's texture it. to it too. You know, that's mm. what it is. So let's go around into the um, front adjacent gallery to the left where nice. Goodbye to Romance is. I want to show those guys. I like uh, the, the colors, the sky color being that orange. triangles in that one. Thank you. Mm. Yes, correct. That's what, get ready for it. We're going to dissect this, you know what I mean? We, thank you for this treat, because we love dissecting stuff on the show, man. It's thank like you. crazy. Let's go to the left where Shadowland is. Let's do that. Let's do this uh, clockwise with Shadowland. Mm. Is that so, a skull right priest, there? Check this out, priest. Wow. Woo! Dang. Look at that yeah. owl. That's the little owl, right? The bone? Yes, correct. Yes. Yeah. And you know how I know because the details is so there. Mm. Yeah, thank you. I really appreciate that. Now, I'm sure you had to look at some photos of owls to get some inspiration, I'm sure, for details, right? Correct, correct. I look at everything. My resource uh, files, including uh, the Ooh. Prospect Park Zoo, are mm -hmm. extensive. The Prospect Park Zoo has an amazing great horn owl. Shut and there it is right there. So... That's the gray horn. Look at that eyes, yo. Yeah. Wow. The precision. Yeah. I'm coming to get you. 
Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Shadowland. Shadowland. Yeah. Shadowland. Yes. Let's go to uh, the painting to the right. Um, resting place. Priest, yes. look at this. That reminds um, me of some of the Sullen artwork yeah, that we yeah, saw. Yeah, exactly. We got it. Yeah, yes. shout out to Sullen. Yes, and this, you know, this is like an ancient image. That That is the only representation of a where uh, the human anatomy comes into the work, actually, is that form of that skull. But that's like a very particular thing, you know? Mm. It's like every man. It's, it's life and death. It's a Benita painting. That's literally what it is. It's the juxtaposition of these roses at the height of their bloom mm. and the wisdom of the owl, you know, mm. and, the, and the aftermath. And that's, that's it. Beautiful. I love that painting. I, I'm really happy we were able to get that. It's in a collection in San Antonio. Um, yeah, I was so saying, saying that reminds me of uh, Mexican. Mexic that's very Mexican yeah, with the yeah, roses. That palette, yeah, right? Called, yeah. It makes me think of yeah. uh, Carpe Diem. Mm. Yes, yes, definitely AD. Definitely. To seize the day. Mm. This painting is titled Valiant Repose. Boom. Mm. Yes. Wow. Mm. The deer is like laying down. Well, you know, that whole passage when you were spending time in Alaska and right. you were talking about the landscape and the bears and everything like that. I mean, this is a heavy animal and it's heavy paint, you know, it's very mm. applied. It's texture. It's a heavy piece. The weight it's on, What's you know, the ground What's and and the and also the palette, like the kind of almost like a vegetable vegetation, yes. pa vegetational palette. For me, it's a very earthen painting mm, and yes. uh it's a nice respite in the show so then we go back like to another large-scale piece like oh actually little vixens is right there this is a wild painting ad look at this this is like almost like a remix of like an original idea because mm, of the kaleidoscopic influence you know and then i mentioned early that's my on boys the foxes right <laughs> priest <laughs> i mentioned early on uh the third eye antenna color uh -huh. And the Summer End Cafe albums, right? Mm. Those, those in particular, this painting kind of has a touchstone with me uh, sonically with some of those man. albums, you know? Yes. But this, yeah. this, this, remix, man. this makes me think of More. early December because mm. you've got the pumpkins close to that time season of the end of fall and True. early winter. And then you have the peppermints in the background, which is kind of like Christmas. Wow. Yeah, that's true. Keep that wow. in mind for one other painting we're going to yeah, see yeah. pretty I soon. Just makes you think of early December. Yeah. yeah. So this painting is titled Goodbye to Romance. It's uh, oil on canvas. Uh, it's a, it, they're, they're praying mantises. Mm. And the background are silhouettes of irises. Again, painted after the fact. So mm. all of the praying mantises were painted first. And then the background of the irises. Oh man, that seems like a bit more work, huh? It that was a ton of work. Crazy. This one was a lot of work, AD. I wonder why you would do it that way rather than because you're doing an overlay anyway. You're asking great questions. I'll tell you the answer is like if you see the passages of white paint in this painting, mm -hmm. that is from the original gesso ground of the painting. Mm -hmm. But it becomes a positive shape of the praying mantis of the insect or the limbs or whatnot. Mm -hmm. Once the background area is painted in around it right there. See wow. that? Stop for a second. That's see? crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Because if I painted that form over the cadmium yellow. That's the and cover the right there. That's dope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Planet of the gods. Do the praying the mantis, gardens. don't they kill their mate after they uh, mate? Yeah. So this was, this was, this is like a breakup song. Wow. This love, is, and they, love, uh, love is pain, AD. Yeah. Love is pain. <laughs> that, that right. Bring it. Man. Bring it. Uh, like prayer, mantis. prayer mantis is like the roach's revenge. <laughs> There's a title. That's a man. great title, please. It's dope, man. It looks like they look, always remind me of aliens, man. It's yeah. So dope. Well, yeah, yeah we don't have to go far. You know, that's again, it goes back to you do a walkabout out in nature for a minute and you're going to, you know, you're going to get in touch with things, you know? Yeah. Mm. It's the man, you man, you are incredible. Yo. This is thank dope. you, Priest. Yeah, thank you, Priest. Really dope. This John, is a pastoral. Pardon? John, do you want to see father figure? 
Yeah, I want to show him father figure along that wall, and that'll be great, Jeremiah. Thank you. Yeah, oh, he's got the oranges. <laughs> but this yeah. one is cool. Yeah. Hmm. Because of the range, if you go back in your mind and you think of the in the blood painting with the wolves, mm -hmm. and then you take it to like those cockatoos and oranges, it's like range. That's like these. 10 now going on 11 albums you've dropped these past few years priest it's the range in there you know what i mean mm. that's mm. what it's that's what you know the creative process is so speaking of which <laughs> we're going to go from that area of color to this Ooh. so so this painting is titled father figure and, and it's kind of self-explanatory, yeah. you know. Hmm. Is that the horn or what? What, what kind of owl? Is yes, that? sir. Dope. Yes, sir. The horned owl. Yes. Hmm. You know, and the accent of the of the spheres to the eyes. You know. Yeah. The look. There's something really poignant there. You really, you really good at the eyes because it almost it's like what is the owl looking at? You got them. Looking at something is just so crazy. Yeah. Well, you I know, it's it. like we're so used to questioning paintings. What do we do when the painting's questioning us? Hey. Mm. You deserve that one. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> Word. Thank you. Yeah, we'll go down to the these uh, last few paintings here on the left. Shout out to Red Sun. It's amazing the small details you do, and then when you back up, you have another whole bigger picture. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Look at the, Thank like, you. Oh, my Scorpios. Like, it's in the skin. Like, if you look yeah. at the skin of the Scorpio. Mm. Scorpio. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. If we can wow. go up on that and show them that. Look at that. So you can see yeah. the little hairs. It's very physical, yeah. you know? Very physical. There's a lot of paint on that painting. But you can see in the background, it's very thinned out. That gesture, again, with the mop, that splash, that, that mm. splatter of oil paint is very thin. And then you go to that thick area, you know? Mm -hmm. It's, like, it's mm -hmm. like when you guys are doing the musical sequences, AD, at the end of the shows, and you give your suggestions, and it's like there's certain tunings, you know, and mm -hmm. pullbacks and this. You're very similar. It's details. Very, uh, yes, everything is correct. in the details. Might as well come correct. see that. Yeah, I've become obsessive with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, correct. But I can see how you definitely have also. Yes. Like, it's, yeah. it's incredible. And you're not just painting just for color, because I see you leaving blots of yes. ink to be three-dimensional on purpose, it seems. Yes, that's Coach correct. Right. Very detailed. You're leaving those blots there. You're not just smoothing it out. I see there's a blot right there. Yes, the you left pasta. Yeah, on purpose. The yeah. Right, because it gives the process in a way, you know? Yeah. It gives that process. It reveals the making of the structure of the painting, you know, yeah. which is so important. Mm. There's another block it. there. Like, you could have totally smoothed that out if you wanted to, but you purposely left that there to give right. it that three-dimensional texture. That's interesting. Yeah, thank you. Exactly. Uh, um, let's go to the left painting there to Harvest. Because we're going to get back to the idea of the autumnal arrangement with the still life you pointed out in Little Vixen's AD. Mm -hmm. Look at this painting. Priest. There's your orange priest. I know you love that color. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. He's wearing orange right now. All right. There you go. I see it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So this painting is titled Harvest. I love it. And it's an autumnal painting. And... Um, I look at the you know. mouse that's in there. Wow. Oh, wow. It feel like I'm reading a child. You remember the children's book from back in the days? Like, just yeah. grabbing you. You're like, oh, man, this is, this painting is yeah. beautiful, man. Thank you, man. The Thank light you. reflecting yeah. off the pumpkin. What, what's the name of this one? Harvest. Of course, because it's the harvest season. You've got the wheat. Correct. Yes, it's the harvest season. And you're going into... Uh, yeah, oh, going man. in the fall. Yeah. The light reflecting off the... How do you do You know, as we were installing this exhibition, I was having a conversation with Jeremiah, and uh, we were discussing the seasons, because mm -hmm. in painting, it's always like a really uh, standard uh, series for a painter to take on, or the four seasons, the paintings mm -hmm. of the four seasons. And I brought it up, and he immediately said, John... You're not going to start the seasons until you're 60 and you're not going to finish them until you're 70. 
Mm. Then they'll be shown. So <laughs> it's something to look forward to. It's an mm. NFT dream. Shout out, Jeremiah. <laughs> Shout out. Thank you. Yep. I want to point out, too, in this painting and in all of the paintings with the geometry, you're not seeing a complete shape. There's never a complete circle or triangle or square. If you look, mm. they're always obscured by other aspects of the composition, mm. which is, of course, intentional and by design by the artist. But, of course, as, as the viewer, you complete the shape in your mind. But compositionally, it's really an abstraction. So you see the you see the gesture of the yeah. geometry, yeah. but it's actually compositionally abstract, even though our minds complete the shape. Yeah. Correct. It doesn't seem too Correct. doesn't seem too random either because they're all spaced appropriately. Very important uh, observation to point out, Jeremiah. Thank you. Yes. That is and crazy. then uh, well, let's go one more to the left here. Okay. John, this is so. Love flies in. Oh, yeah. I'll bring him in. This is incredible, yo. Thank you. Thank you, Killer Priest. This was, this was like conducting. A, this was like real conducting here. This was challenging for sure. Very meta. <laughs> mm. I don't. Birds. It, it, Wow, man! It it's reminds me of some Japan. Like, uh, mm -hmm. I guess it's the red yes. circle. Yeah, it's that's where I got yes. it. Yes, beautiful gardens up there. Right on it. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Man, you this is this is my. I, you know, I wanted to give a little respite from talking just to let the audience, you know, enjoy some of the visuals here. But I could go on and on. <laughs> Oh, please do, man. Um, so shout out to y'all. Make sure y'all hit that super chat, too, man. If y'all got any questions, he's here right now. Y'all can ask questions if you're an artist yourself, mm -hmm. if you're just coming up and you're an artist, or if you're an established artist. This um, this is a lifetime right here. Um, hit the super chat. Hit the likes and uh, let us know. Let other people know that we are here and we are seeing real art. It's a live gallery tour. Yeah, that's what we do. Yes, museum. 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 Yes. And how, how long is your exhibition going to be up? Through August 15th. And then we are uh, currently uh, finishing up the accompanying catalog for the exhibition, which we'll make sure to send you guys mm -hmm. at the studio. And uh, it's going to be phenomenal. It has six texts included. And um, one of the text priests is by... Um, the author Louisa McCune and it delves into the esoteric nature of the work and I'm really looking forward to having you check that out so it'll and be good for those at home if you're near the Oklahoma area check the uh, description for the website and location to go check that out yeah yeah let me let me jump in thanks AD for that it's uh, Oklahoma Contemporary you can see us at okcontempt.org uh, you can find us on Instagram on Twitter on Facebook or go to our website uh, we're open six days a week, closed on Tuesdays, every other day you can see us. Uh, I wanted to uh, also note admission at Oklahoma Contemporary is always free. This is a great wide shot. You can see the space in the gallery. Uh, we've been able to show every painting in the exhibition in, in this gallery. There's a few more downstairs as well, but big shout out, Killer Priest, AD. Thank you for inviting John onto the podcast. John, thank you for uh, making the connection and allowing the audiences of uh, the podcraft to experience nature's course. I think that concludes it. We got to get our staff home to their families, but much love to everybody out there. Again, shout out and much love to the Wu family. Hey. <laughs> Thank you, Jeremiah. Hey, can we, can we check out that one in the yeah. back real quick? The one with the red canaries. Are those even oh, the canaries? Cardinals? Yeah. 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 Yo, we got to get the Cardinals in there. Yeah, right? Cardinals, the Cardinals. Yeah. Yeah. Arizona. Wow. Okay. And yeah, so this is titled Keep Red Party. Afternoon. Uh huh. Yeah, this is kind of like an encore, AD. Priest, we're going to give you two. We're going to yeah. give you this and State of the Union. Can we go to State of the Union real quick? I don't want, yes. it, to, I don't want it to That's stop. I want to see them all. Oh, so <laughs> you know what? We got a few more, but yeah. <laughs> it's a huge show. Yeah, Guys, yeah. thank you again. This is amazing. So this oh, piece right. is titled State of the Union. Mm. Now, one thing that's always interested me about orchids. Mm -hmm. is that they're the only Look carnivorous flower. Oh, oh wow, they eat. I didn't know that. Yeah. Shout out they're to um, Abel. So they eat bugs so and stuff? Mm. Yeah, so they're, I read that they're there too. as well. Okay. 
Nice. We got someone here uh, named Abel. He says, great show, great artwork. Props to Mr. John Newsom. I really enjoyed his work. Mm. Thank you, Look Abel. That. Thank you so much. Really means a lot. The spider web, too. Show them how you yeah. feel. Oh, you got the spider? I was going to ask you about the spider. Yeah. I'm glad you got Deep the spider breeze. web. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you got the spider up in there with that web. Spiders are like artists themselves. Isn't that wild? Yes. 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 Yeah, they're, they're technically artists themselves, huh? Yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yo, on the spider, can we go to Wondering Widow? I'm sorry, we got to do it. <laughs> Wondering Widow. Come yeah, on, we're, we're trying to squeeze out as much as we can. Let's get that spider. Hey, oh, D, man. This is technically the last painting on the floor we haven't seen. Okay. Right, Look at that, Priest. And then, then back up and show them what the full picture plane is. Look at this. Mm. So. That's you know, beautiful, it's boom, man. These are Trump big. Beauty. Well, it looks like the perspective of the spider because we're looking up. And you're down Shout in it, but the... then you go and you notice there's a black widow dragging off a bug in the lower left of the painting. Mm. It's very unexpected, but it's part of it, you know? It's yeah, part of it. It's, uh, Shout out to Dave Flores. It's in there. Well, it's interesting. It, what's normal for the spider is chaos for the fly. <laughs> You know, you know, a jewel was coming. You know, a jewel was coming. <laughs> come on, <laughs> you know, on this on the craft room, a jewel got to come. Yo, listen up. Uh, Dave Flores says something. Oh yes, we have another artist uh, here who actually does three D animation. Uh, he says, Great. "Peace, John. Your painting looks amazing. Truly beautiful artwork. Fire, fire." Thank you, fire, fire. Oh, there's a uh, a butterfly. We got to see the butterfly real quick. Yep, that's that's true. Now this painting's titled Eternal. Borderline. All wow. the apples on the upper left, they're on the tree. They're alive. They're living, right? And Man, the, the apples the, look The ones below have bite. fallen. They're off. Mm. And the chrysalis. Oh, my goodness. The chrysalis priest is underneath. The monarch, mm. the new, newly hatched monarchs above. You know what I mean? So it's like a, it, it's a dual, it's a duality there. There's a duality yes. there that mm. I was exploring. Awesome. This nice. is Thank you, AD. Love it. Nice. Thank you. This Thank is you. amazing, yo. Yeah. I can only imagine the word. Falcon. Yeah. Kind of green falcon. So good. Is that Rasul? Yeah, yeah. Rasul yeah. came in, man. Rasul, shout out. Nice <laughs> to meet you. Thank ah, you what's for up, having what's me. Up? <laughs> yo, yo, Rasul. I came in a little late. Yeah. Rasul, I caught your video. Congratulations. The new one. I love it. Particularly what? the second version. What verse? What what video? <laughs> the, the video and uh, with the grays, and then at the end, oh, he ends up oh, in space oh, and horse. Oh, oh, you you there. was in there. You was in there. Yes. <laughs> oh shit, you was in there. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. I showed uh, with it's coming. Oh shit, there, man. Yes. I didn't know you was in there, Newt. I, mean, I don't know, man. I'll be, you know, I'll be spaced out sometime. I just. But be... this is great. When I saw the shot <laughs> of Horus in the lotus position spinning, oh, I thought oh, it's on the horizon. This yeah. painting we just looked at with Priest. I was like, I nice. can't wait to show Rasul that painting. Oh yeah, nice, nice, oh, nice. nice. Is it, yeah. Yeah, so Can we catch it there one you more go, time, gentlemen? Is, wow. it, is, it, is it on the side there? Oh, it's, it's on. The, oh, you can't show it real fast, huh? All right. Can we go in for a no. second? Show Rasul <laughs> beyond the horizon. It's to the left there. It's the big painting to the left. Thank you, guys. Oh, it's right there. Oh, no, no, no. There it is. Russell, oh, see? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There it is. I thought you'd like this uh, one. Yeah, yeah Hey Ru. Oh, that's Hey Ru right there. That's, hey that's, Ru. That's Hey Ru all day. That's the that's that's that's, that's what I'll be rapping about. That's you. I know. That's, that's, that's me. Inspired no, no, by Russell. You know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> If I come Thank back, you. if I die tomorrow, hopefully I come back as a Pellegrine Falcon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right on. Pellegrine right Falcon. But, uh, <laughs> right on. Yeah, yeah. Wow, man. Yo, <laughs> nice. that right there is, is totally awesome. Yeah, thank you. And thank you again to the entire staff of the Oklahoma Contemporary Museum. Thank you for making time for us tonight oh, yeah. and the pie craft. Thank you. Yeah, shout out to everybody. everybody. Peace. Thank you. Very good. Yeah. Yo. Peace. Peace. Good night. Thank you to the videographer. Thank you to everybody yeah, there. Shout out to Dennis right. Spielman, our videographer, and Young Divinitas. Open invitation. Come through Oklahoma City anytime. Great, oh, nice. Great job. Yeah, no thank you, Jeremy. Awesome. You, you said you're in Oklahoma City? That's right. OKC. OKC. OKC, hey, yep. Yep, yep. Hell yeah. yeah. Kansas, come see Kansas, us, Oklahoma yeah. Contemporary. We're, yeah, go check it out. Yeah, come see us. We'll, we'll, we'll roll up the welcome wagon for you anytime. John will come <laughs> through, too.
Okay. Yo, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. Awesome. Cheers, Jeremiah. All right. Much love, y'all. Peace. Yeah. Peace. peace. And I must say, man, you you came through prepared. You you got Thank your you. you got your tea. We didn't have to. Yeah. <laughs> you watched the show, man. We know mm-hmm. that you watched the show, man. Yeah. Shout out to you once again. Yeah. Bro. Thank. Thank yeah. you. Oh man, and uh, to Gustavo too. Word. Yes, to Gustavo. Thank you. I don't know if you guys need me here. I'd love to stay or. <laughs> Oh, no, nah, it's up to you, bro. You could, yeah, I mean, you could, you could, uh, you could sit around, you could chat with us, or you want to get off the uh, craft, if you want to watch or whatever, you know. You know what? Uh, I think I'll, I think I'll bow out right now because yeah. uh, Do you think? I had such a lovely experience here with you, Killer Priest, AD Man. Rasul. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Lots of love, and I hope to speak with you again soon. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Thank hey, you so much. Hey, Neo, uh, Neo Panda says hi, Dad. It's me, Luke. Hey, that's my son Luke. Hey, shout oh, out to hey. Shout out to Luke, man. Uh, yes. hey. Peace, 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 Thank Luke. Thank you, guys. Your dad is Keep great, up brother. the great work. Keep up the amazing work. Go peace, with peace. love, not fear, man. Go yes. with love, not fear. Yes. 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 Go with love. Love shots. Yes. Thank you. Peace out. Peace. Absolutely. Thank you. Peace. Peace. Love shots. Love chucks. Yeah. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, that was off. Awesome. That was off the chain. That was great. We've never had on um, a museum tour on yeah. this show before. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that was that was yo man, only on the craft, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think like, you're gonna get it nowhere else. Nah. nah. That's great. Those paintings is crazy though. You know, you think the detail mm-hmm. the detail of it, you know, you, you would think that it would it, it looked like a, a a sketch, you know? Yeah. Mm. You know, but you walk in there and you, you zoomed in, AD, and you showed the, uh, man, like wow. The, the videographer zoomed in, but yeah. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. He yeah, had, a, he had his own there. video guy there. He did yeah, he job. zoomed in and um, they showed you, you know, the intricacy of like what was really going on there with those, uh, with the painting and the cutter, you know, it, it, I'm speechless from what I looked at. Me yeah. too, bro. I didn't know he did Raekwon's like, album. Oh, oh that, 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 yeah. that. That was nice. Yeah. That's great. Is that is that a is that a drawing or is it a painting? I think it was. A, I think it's a painting. Is it a painting? It a painting? Yeah. I remember being on the road with um, me and me and Ghost was on the road. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And um, my man Val, somebody first uh, showed us the album cover. You know what I mean? And my man DJ Tech. Oh no. Nice. Whatever. And. We, uh, it was like, dang, man, you know what I mean? You got to come with different, because, <laughs> yeah, 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 you yeah. know, that's a real artist. And now a real art, a real, real artist. Yes. And when you see, he should NFT that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, shout out to, see, this is what I, when, you, when you're doing things and you're making things happen, because what we do here is what we inspire. We inspire. To yeah, be inspired. Yeah, totally. You know, I mean, just like he was saying, like a lot of that stuff, could you could do an album cover just for like, I mean, it's crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like he totally, I mean, I don't know. He captured the, <laughs> the whole Rocket the Nebula theme and all his paintings. <laughs> he definitely listened to the Killer Priest. Uh, <laughs> I could, you know what I did we had to talk stuff. to him we had to, we had to talk to him yeah yeah cause I did see some of um, secret anticipation of uh you know when you going on those uh those long walks and those planet mm-hmm. Terry walks and you you getting in tune with nature you getting in tune with yourself yeah. and then sometimes beautiful things like um just taking a walk and listening to uh bird sing yeah dogs yeah. bark exactly so you a dog barking to me, it does something to, I mean, as a child, it does something to like, oh man, it's like, it, it brings happiness. I don't know. I don't know if it's coded, but when you're a child, a dog box yes. makes a child smile. <laughs> Indeed. How many of y'all, y'all notice that? Like far away, it could be, mm-hmm. especially the further the dog, bo- the further away the dog is, the more the bark is, yeah. the more you start getting happy. Like, it, it, I don't know, we didn't have roosters. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's like either wake up, you just feel encouraged. You know, a lot of people say bird singing. We're going to get into that. I just want to deal with the dog bark. We're going to get a couple of sounds and we're going to make it quick. 
But uh, no, you, yeah, you got I'm, on. I'm, I'm, with, I'm with you on that. I mean, I mean, sometimes it sounds like the dog be talking to you, or, or at least, uh, or, or animals can, can communicate with you in certain ways. I think so. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, very much so. so. Um, especially dogs. I think dogs and, and humans are very, very in, you know, intuitive with mm-hmm. each other. The cat, the cat is different. You got to, you got to work for the work for it. <laughs> you want to work for its response. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go there? You want to go there? Well, you would you know the secret man, to that? He told, man, he told here and he's look. He's already. Yeah, but see, that's upset. a different kind of cat, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's a different cat. You know All what right, I'm saying? Me, when, 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 get uh, your you know. build on, and I'm gonna I'm come in with what I think. Well, I cat. just think that because you brought up that's a good. No, it's a good. good I love that because a dog is represents to me like a dog is is their bark is happiness. Their, yeah, their, right. their bark is. Is like you said, like a uh, it's some type of communication with a child and grown ups. Because as mm-hmm. uh, uh, far as a grown up, but for a child, because a child understands, it has like a more mystical mind. Like right. uh, the imagination is more right. fairy tale So it, it does have some type of communication with it. You know, right. when you was when you were young, you had magical moments, but you don't kind of embrace it because the grown ups come and say, "Don't do that. Do this. Do this. Do your homework." And then your imagination is keep going because you stare out that window. Indeed, you see that tree there, that sun coming through, and you hear the dog bark. The children praying. It's just, it's just a sound of life, and it, almost like the beach. Mm-hmm. But when we get to the cat sound, <laughs> yes. more a little bit more witchery, a little dark. Uh, uh, I'm just that's what I say. I mean, cats I, don't I, even I, make no sound really. They they, they don't make uh, their, they you know they got stars. sounds. They just they have their observers. I mean, the, the goddamn cat is saying. I mean, the dog. Okay. The, listen, the dog. If somebody attacks you, your dog. <laughs> Will attack, like if if you if your dog love you train your dog enough and you you know y'all got that kind of bond. If That's you right. walking down the street and somebody tries to to, to attack you, mm-hmm. your dog is gonna respond. The right. the cat ain't gonna do that. No. Somebody right. breaking your house, the cat gonna jump up there right there mm-hmm. and just watch the whole shit go down. And almost look at you like you it's your fault. Yeah. Like it's like the <laughs> yeah. reason why they breaking in because yeah. the cat will look at you like what you did. Yeah. You did something that was wrong, right. and that's why they broke in here. Now you got to figure now it out. Now, the cat is small. What can the cat possibly really do? Right? Right? Yeah. But the cat don't even make a sound, though. The dog the dog will, yeah, uh, if you got right. a small little chihuahua, or one of those, you know, a little bulldog, the, the, if, if someone's attacking you, that dog is going to bite. I mean, excuse me, bark. You know what I'm saying? Vinny said his cat looks over his house. Well, I, that's what I said, the dark yeah. side. Yeah. They represent, you know, cats are always with witches. The cats will get the rodents, though, like the rodents and stuff like that, yeah, the honey. mice and the, and the rats and all that, depending on how big the rat is, right? Well, they kill us. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's big rats. Yeah. Sometimes the motherfuckers get bigger than cats. Mm. They found a rat in, uh, in I don't know. I, I, seen it, I seen the documentary on YouTube. Man. You had a baby cat. A, a kitten? It was kind of, was, it was, the cat was life-size cat. And you know, cats can vary. They can get big. You know, they. It was a regular you cat. Talk about a, a chupacabra. What was it no, called? this rat was kind of big. The it's cat. A, the cat a, looked. It's not a race of them. No, no. It was just. I don't know. This particular cat was just a big. It was a big rodent. It was a big rat that was bigger than the cat. Yeah, the cat. Well, yeah, it was maybe the same size as the cat. Like it was like the cat was scared of it. And like it was. It, was it, it, it fell back. Like it knew. Could be. It, it, it seen it. The cat seen it, and it and it, it, it was it was like it kind of feared it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? There's a whole I video on it. If you, you could pull it up. Yeah, we probably could pull that up because it probably was a um, everybody laughing. Yeah, because a cat is a killer. That's what I'm saying. They kill it. They kill. They kill. They train to hunt, mm-hmm. and uh, they don't even train. They just coat it. Yeah. And um, I saw one thing on um, on the Discovery Channel or one of the Animal Planets, and they had I think ten to one, one to ten, mm-hmm. who's the most um, the most predator, or who's the the oh oh the dog most or the dangerous, cat. Most dangerous yeah, predator. The, the dog or the cat, right? Nah, the, out, of, out of 10. They, they, we're going animals. We're going, oh, oh, oh. We're, yeah, going, okay. we're not just going domestic. Yeah, yeah. We're yeah, going okay, to, okay. Uh, we're going to, we're going to bring, we're going to throw in the tigers, lions, uh, alligators. You know, alligators always scheming. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, sometimes I'll be going through, like, who's the most scheming 
animal out of the alligator in the shark. But anyway, I think that I think the alligator might be the most scheming. Yeah, he's always scheming. scheming. He's you know they 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 But well, let me get to oh, let me just yeah, finish this yeah, part. Yeah, <laughs> we we get into the scheming because the alligators are schemers. They they look anybody going for a drink. But it was the war. Uh, it was the cat that was the most uh, vicious predator out of animals in the wild. It was the domestic house cat. <laughs> yep. I, I got it. The domestic house cat. I was like... Domestic house cat? Do you know how many things they kill a day? Don't let them outside. Mm. They will... They, cats is on... Um, uh, yeah, squirrels on the right. list. I guess you're right. Yeah, yeah you're you know, right, mouse on the list, crickets, mm -hmm. the dog don't roaches. You don't kill. You don't kill mice like that. Yeah, yeah, flies. They don't care. It's just the cat instinct is to move so quick because mm -hmm. they just code it to to catch everything. It's like they just look. You ever saw a cat where they were looking like this? They just look yeah, up, yeah, and yeah, then they yeah. try to they try to get a, uh -huh. a fly. Yeah. yeah, praying mantis is on the list. Sorry, praying mantis. Yeah, I, I love yeah, you. Yeah, no, no, a cat will yeah. kill a, a praying mantis. Eat, eat a pre, eat a pre, eat a praying mantis. Yep. Mice on the list. Rabbits. Yeah, the, you the out mess. of the box. All right, well, I agree with that. I agree with that. The cat. The cat will. Rabbits. The out. dog. A dog won't. He's not going to kill a mouse. Um. You know what I mean. No, they got dogs that train to kill mouse. Yeah, train them though. I just train rats. They, 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 you uh, gotta train them though. But the cat, are all the, the cat is just is instinct, like you just said, it has an instinct to just kill. The dog ain't, you know, he may not kill. He might not just run yeah, and go kill them. It's a couple of like things. That. He he's with his. The dog is with his. Uh, he's with his owner. Yeah. Whatever his owner. Sometimes the dog will look at the owner first yeah. to see what he's what he's exactly. going to do, and yeah. it reads very good yeah. at reading. Exactly. Exactly. They say, mad, mad dog. Yo, you yeah, mad yeah. dogging me. Dogs read <laughs> read your looks. Yeah, they, read yeah. your, they read your sense, their smell. Mm -hmm. They even, I saw dogs, and, you know, shout out to Devon had dog. I saw dogs do this. And, then, and uh, let's give a shout out to the great oldest dog, which is the king of the dogs, the wolf. The wolf, but, yeah, yeah. But, you know what I'm saying, yeah. would be the, the top canine. But I saw yeah. dogs look at the owner <laughs> and then look at the person. They, they, to see... <laughs> If yeah, the yeah. reaction, like, you could roll up on somebody, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And uh, some of our boys, you know, anybody, you know, who got a dog. The dog would back up and would look at uh, the person, then look at the owner, at his reaction or her reaction to see if it's hap if it's good yeah. or if it's go time. Mm. And then sometimes a dog like Pitts won't even let you come close. No. So like, no. Uh, you just stay right there. I love this. I love, I love this guy. My owner to death. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Pitts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Pitts will go out for their owner. Owner. To the, to yeah, the death. To the death. German Shepherds, too. Yeah. Gotta give German Shepherds some props. The cat ain't gonna do that. Nah, the cat doesn't care. Cats, <laughs> you, you, um, you, 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 somewhere down the line, you must have messed up in life, and the cat is turn, gonna turn it back on you and yeah. say, you, you deserved it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now they're gonna get on you. They might walk over your body. <laughs> they do. They do. You notice that? Now they might smell you. They just jump on your bed like how the mojito just jumps up on the, on on the desk. He just walks around. He just does his thing. He don't care if the camera. He don't care about nobody. Yeah. You know what I mean? So they do just walk wherever they want to walk. They jump wherever they want to jump. <laughs> right. You know. They just come with, unless they kind of trained or whatever. And you, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Shout out to um, F.U. Bill Gates. He said, Fox and Coyotes are schemers. Straight up. Oh, yeah. Straight up. Foxes and Coyotes? More, the, more so the Fox. Yeah. Coyote is like a, uh, yeah, they always up to something. Yeah, they, yeah. they always come in. You know what? We might have to reevaluate our alligator stuff because them some scheming. Like foxes, they only come out. They come yeah, out. Yeah, but they kind of like scavengers, though. With well, a fox? Yeah. Nah. The is this the way, the way you know, you know I'm saying? The style of scheming is kind of a scavenger, kind of a scheme. They, they watch you. You know what I mean? They look over and they do that. A scavenger would be a jackal. He'll come, a he'll jackal. Come. That's what I'm saying. He'll jack your food. That's what the that's No, what the a fight. jackal. Oh, oh, right, right, right. I got to oh, disagree yeah. with you on, oh. on a little bit, but yeah, I'm going yeah. to agree with you on. Uh, I, I take a scavenger is you kill, we come. 
Right. Scavenger is a scav- scavenger for food, anything right. that's left. But a fox, they are about their business. Fox want to come up there. They want to. They want to watch your uh, your, your yeah. chicken coop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They want to scheme on your chipper, <laughs> chipper, uh your chicken coop for maybe maybe a week. They yeah, they're checking yeah, out you yeah, going yeah. home, going to work. Uh-huh. Um, they checking out what clothes you wear on that day. They'll be there. They'll be there at three in the morning. That's when they come. <laughs> yeah, when you they go come, to sleep, they, yeah, they know you drinking. Sleep. Yep. Or you watching, you know, Saturday you watching Saturday Night Live or whatever. That's how they, that's 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 that that that's that's when they come though. Well you gotta set your camera up. That's how you that's how a lot of people be catching the fox, yo. Thank you. you know how they watch the fox. <laughs> that's, that's, how you, that's how they catch it. They don't come out you're right, they don't really come out doing it. They come out in the daytime, but they, you don't see them. Nah, they come in and get those chickens. Yeah. Fox, yo, listen. Hey, they got this fox squill, right? They got this um uh, man, I don't want to reveal. Every time we talk on this show, man, I be revealing. I got a song called Fox. You know what I mean? Fox. Yeah, yeah the Fox and, and yo and the Kung Fu Flick Silver Fox. Foxes. I thought the owls, more, but the, you're right. Um, coyotes are like a group of uh, they're like a group of uh, I wouldn't call them too clumsy, but but they they like they definitely gonna get your cat. They're a little bit more vicious. They yeah, they're not yeah. as smart. At they uh I'm not like gonna call like them little dummy wolves. Though. Yeah. They little tiny wolves. They wolves that didn't get their props. Yeah, exactly. Or dingo. Yeah. You know what I mean? They like um uh, Yeah, they gonna uh, yeah, you can't front on the coyote. Coyote, coyote, blue, coyote, coyote will get you out if you mm-hmm. come out there. Fox come out at night, right, Moss? But the wolves more uh, more strategic. Yeah, the wolves. I mean, well, you're dealing with the king of the dogs. You know, that's one of my favorite movies. You watch that movie called The uh, The Gray. Anybody seen that? Yeah. The Gray. Yeah, that's. I was yeah. watching that the other night. That's how a they, wild. That's a wild movie. Yeah. How they kill? I mean, how they set up cats? Yeah, yeah. You know, they crash land out there. You but, know what I mean? Wow! Imagine that. What? Uh, imagine you know I don't I don't want to imagine it, but you know just getting getting trapped in a uh, surrounded by, you know, a, a, a land where there's wolves. Well, and, oh, oh, you know. oh, let me let me say something about that. First of all, that's Hollywood. Right, right. So you, you know, don't think wolf, you don't think. Nah, they the wolves eat think, what they eat. Wolves don't want no humans. They, they want to. Wolves like to eat bison. They like right. to chase. You know, Hollywood is crazy. Let me show you about Hollywood and how, you know what I'm saying, how these white uh, directors be thinking. Because they like crazy. Yeah. You got crazy cats <laughs> who come out here and they make movies to um, always downplaying animals. Right. So they'll right. get, they'll get uh, make a movie right. about a shark who just loved to eat up humans. And that's not necessarily true. Yeah, yeah. That's like the, um, like, you know, Jaws. And, yeah. But they got some Listen. new shark movies, you know. Okay, let oh, me just no. drop this jewel on y'all. Yeah, listen, and I'm being real with y'all. Sharks, all the, they don't they don't want to eat humans. They don't even want to they don't right, want right, to deal right. with us. Sharks and uh, wolves are not trying to set you up because you. It, first of all, they crash into a. <laughs> I don't know how they survived the crash. The plane yeah, oh yeah, crashed yeah, that shit, of, that shit, that shit was a bugged out crash, yeah. yo. Yeah, you gonna crash in the middle of a jungle. It, it, you need to get not, not a jungle. Uh, well, it was like was, uh, this crash land on the top of a, a, a snowy ass mountain. Yeah, it was. And, yeah, and it was. Go, yeah. It was bad. They should have died. Yeah, then they de- then they <laughs> demon fought. They uh, demonized the wolves and act like the wolves are out there. And they, <laughs> Hold on, though. Let me ask a question. You don't uh, think? Uh, let me, okay, go ahead, man. Go ahead. I'm you being know honest about with this. you. I mean, you know about this. So yeah. You don't think that if if. A, a plane crash and there was bodies around. You don't think that the wolves would stumble upon that area? No, nah, wolves do do not hunt. They know what they hunt. They right, got they're right. coded. Okay, they like to hunt what they've been hunting for decades. Right. You know what I'm saying? Humans want to make money. So here you go. They go. They go out there. And they 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 make a, a scenario. Right. Right. We fly. Imagine this. They just how they talk in the rooms. <laughs> Imagine if you, you flew a plane and the plane crashed in the middle. Then we bring out the dog. We bring out the wolves. Make them vicious. Cause all the yeah, dogs yeah. look vicious. Uh, yeah, yeah, make yeah. them look vicious. Piranha. They yeah, they the did. The wolves in that movie was like. Yeah, some, come on, man. They, just high, they, they made them motherfuckers scary. They lived amongst. Scary I mean, wolves. Yeah, natives lived you know amongst I mean? them for years. 
They didn't do yeah, too yeah, many. Right. If, if you got to respect their respect what they re, what they do. If you crash land in uh, the first of all, everyone's dying. Right, right. It's just like you crash and you want to have everybody walking around. Unless there was nobody with broken legs or anything like that. Probably maybe one person broken legs. Right, right. And then they did it. I told you they've been doing this since uh, the story of the Garden of Eden. They blamed it on the snake. Yeah, they blame yeah. everything on oh, animals. Oh. They said the fall <laughs> of mankind is animals. They said, and then they, even in COVID. Mm-hmm. The fall of it was a bat. They just try to blame up everything because humans... You know what I'm saying? Especially ones in charge, always trying to take over. And they right. demon and they right. make these movies. King Kong. A, giant, a gigantic yeah. gorilla. Yeah, that's bugged <laughs> out. A giant gorilla. Yeah. Call him the ape. He don't even know his name is the ape. Mm-hmm. Not gonna go in the day. I might <laughs> I might need my what's the name? Somebody said Dan and then, yeah, they're gonna name it Dances with Wolves. Dances with Wolves, right. In that movie they made the wolf look good, like he's a good guy. He uh you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, they they need to do that, but then they hit they come with Dumbo, the wo- making uh, Ganesh. Oh yeah, they, Ganesh, the elephant the flying. Yeah, Dun- Dumbo the flying. Yeah. Elephants are very elephants are very. Uh, they have the L in it. Uh, they're very intelligent. They go way back. Those are um, ancient for Sister Mammoth, Willie Mammoth. <laughs> yeah. You gotta remember. You know what I'm saying? It's Adam. In his in his mind state. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm just talking a biblical reference. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Not, I'm not going, I'm just going where everyone can understand is to destroy nature itself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's, yeah. it's to uh, pull pull away, mankind is to pull away from nature. Then we wear bear skins. You know, Petco gonna love me. Shout out, I want my check. But uh, we wear animal skins, you know. Yeah. Some people need it yeah. to survive and, and stuff like that. But don't demonize the animals. The wolves are just there doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? They just, mm-hmm. they out there. The shock, <laughs> a real shock attack. I told you, man. What the comedian said, a real well, shock. On. What about the what about the uh, crocodile though? You Schemy. know what I'm saying? He's a schemer. Because I, out- I, I I watched something the other day. I listened to this guy tell a story about how it was in the Congo. Watch this. They thank you. Stop right there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I already know what you're gonna say with thank that. You but right there. They they was. I forget what river it was. Real, real yeah. remote, right? Where's well, my case? <laughs> Yeah, make my case for me. And the guy, they was they out there, they you know, they you know doing what they doing. I guess they was fishing or whatever. Mm-hmm. And the fucking crocodile comes out of the water, like somebody said, Lake Placid, like Lake Placid, grabs the guy, uh-huh. and eats him. Like he, he like grabs him, pulls him into the river, right. and they watch this guy get eaten alive right there. Right. Like like you know. Okay. So that he they must he had to have been he had to have been kind of like following him along he had to have been stalking him probably like I'm gonna get one of these guys. What would you call that? I let you I'm like, let you live with that. What would you call that, AD? First of all, what would you call that? Who told it this story? Like a horror movie, yo. It sounds like a straight out of a, a movie. But it happens though. It happens. Okay. What would you? Crocodiles do eat eat humans. All right. Some of them do. So okay. All right, I'm going to let you live with that before I come with my part. AD, okay, what, you, okay. what you got to say with it? I want everybody part huh? of this. What are we talking about? Uh, he, said, he said, I was saying that man always demon, uh, demonized just for money. They make animals crazy and wild <laughs> and stuff like that because they don't understand. Right, right, you know right, what I'm right. saying? Everyone has their, their position. If you, if you violate the position, like, I, I don't want to give away what I want to say, but what would you say about the story you just told about a, a alligator jumping up <laughs> out of the water, taking the, eating his man, yeah, throwing him yeah. in the water, and then eating him? Cover boy, funny. I don't know. That's, that's nature. Dance that's about right. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. I agree with AD. You know, it's nature. That's, that's, that's yeah, their... It's, uh, it's nature, but that's what I'm saying. You never know when... No, this when, is when the alligator is a killer. Yeah, that, I'm gonna show that, you how you you know. Yo, cause cause right. that that's I mean imagine that that's a that's a terrible way to go out, yo. Okay, I don't want to go out like that. <laughs> well, what's the wrong? What part? happened to Sue? Ain't going out he like went, that. He went. He went. What? He went on a, a, a canoeing trip in Africa, on the on the Congo River, and 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 out of nowhere they were fishing, and the out the. the, the <laughs> You can't say this. Is what you can't say. <laughs> it's like who you, wants to go out like that? No, but you can't say out of nowhere. 
You can't go out to the Congos and jump in the water. This is a, <laughs> and, jump, and jump, go in the water no, in a like, canoe in the in the in the in the Congo jungles and no, say if you with out the of villages, nowhere. <laughs> listen, if you with the villages, I mean. All right, watch this. <laughs> a real, a real alligator killing of a human. Right. No, this, this is, is a my crocodile. Version. A crocodile. Here's a real. Here's a real mm -hmm. crocodile killing. Right. If this happened. I agree with you, 100%. <laughs> and I got stuff for Divine, too. Shout out to Divine. But I got your, uh, your Tiger versus Gorilla. You got your Tiger versus Gorilla. The tiger wins. Yeah, I yeah. showed you, right? Yeah, so we're going to yeah, go through yeah. that. Here's a real uh, alligator killing for the okay, village. Okay. Crocodile. Crocodile, go ahead. Crocodile swimming in the water. Uh-huh. The crocodile's like this. Then now here. We come up out of this water. I just yeah. walk through the jungle. Where is that village at? Where I don't. That? Watch this. This is what you call a killing. I, I agree with you. If it goes like this, oh, there's the village. There's that. Girl. Hold up. Sits by the house, waits for the door to open, right, right. and then jump on somebody and, and kill them. That's a real crocodile. That's when you panic and say the crocodile's out here killing us. Right. But if you go out there in their territory, talking about you looking for salmon or you looking for trout, and you out there at nighttime in the canoe with four or five. This is a daytime. It don't matter. It, it could be daytime. Right. They don't. You think the crocodiles out there, what time should we get? They get it on when, it, yeah, <laughs> when they yeah, hear yeah. the water. When, they, yeah, when yeah. they hear the water or whatever they do, they get it on. They're not yeah, waiting yeah, to yeah. nighttime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crocodiles don't have that type of luxury. They don't have grocery stores. <laughs> it's yeah. on when it's on. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So that's what I'm trying to tell you. Hollywood got games because they want to make money. I'm not knocking it, you know, whatever. But I'm not going for it anyway. They blind us too much with Hollywood. Hollywood lies, they're crazy, and they do anything for money. And then, you know, that's why we kill each other now. Yeah. Because of Scarface, everything that they portray in Hollywood is to glorify guns, killing, and uh, all type of drugs. It's all glorified. Which I'm not saying is good, but everything that's bad, they don't talk about, they don't make movies about, they make a couple of movies, Vanilla Sky, a couple of movies that you can look at it, you got to look through, you know, some of the directors are, are, are deep, but they don't kind of promote those. Right, right. Those are the ones that come out on Sunset. <laughs> you got to find them, you know what I mean? Man from Earth, you got to look for those. But, <laughs> but when, when it's time for to make Jaws, you know what I'm saying, back in the 80s or whatever, make Mechanical Shock. Uh, shout out to uh, City Six Number well, One. Yeah. Said, okay, AD, uh, AD, can you play Hellraiser and Shabazz Disciple Burnt Offering when you get the chance? No doubt. Want to do? You want to do that a little later, bro? I'm just giving okay. him a little taste oh, okay. in the background, real yeah, no quick. No doubt. No doubt. Shut up. Work. I'm going in my bill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they smell your emotions. Yeah, well, they train, they code it. Mm. I give it to, you know what I mean? Some of the animals, are, um, they, they code it to get, get it on when they get it on. Yeah, yeah. But they, they, they uh, animals are coded to get what they want. I mean, get what they need to eat to survive. You know, they've been eating buffaloes for years. Uh, yeah, yeah. But then we go out there. My man said dog can smell fear. Now, dogs live amongst us. So you can have yeah. a dog a cat attack mm -hmm. because they live amongst us. Yeah, but they don't. You have to make. You don't feed them though. You gotta, you know. Yeah. Hey, you gotta feed. You, you gotta got, make sure. Go ahead. You got mojito looking right into the camera. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Shout out to mojito. Yo, look at mojito. You know, like y'all talk about talk. Oh shoot! Look, he like he like I'm live right now. He's stalking. Then you gonna come over here and mess with me. Jimmy P said I need a pit bull. You know, I had two pit bulls. I'm not gonna find Inky and and Lil. What'd and you add in that? I had two two pits. Blue. Crazy. Yeah. I did. Um in Hell Stockton. KB, could you have one of, uh could you have one with him at all what? KB could have one of the with him at all times? Um, yo, listen, yo, shout out to my man, Ceaseless Man. 
Make sure y'all hit that uh that uh what's the name? You ready? You ready to go to the music? Uh not yet, oh, but okay, I'll start okay. setting up. Um I got stalked by a coyote. Yeah, I, I they was but you you didn't really get uh followed. You'll get followed in the woods. You said stalked by that's crazy. Yeah, you'll get stalked by them in the woods. When you out there in the woods, they're like, mm. Check you out. What you doing out here? But they're not coming out at your crib. A real stalker goes to your job. You know, they follow you up the street to the... St- if it's really stalking you, you know, <laughs> look at this. Well, who said that so I can talk to him? Uh, man, we should have had the phones. But a real... I mean, y'all can add on too, Craft Room, man. Come on in. I want y'all to join in too. But a real stalk, man, I want y'all to think about this. Correct me if I'm wrong. Well, you know, I had but a re- dog... Follow me. Remember I was telling you when I was a kid, I had a dog. He kept following me. Yeah, that's that. That was a beautiful, sad story. Yeah. yeah. Because I, if I was you, I'd have took that dog. Tell, tell him the story. Yeah. yeah Ad, to listen to this story right here, bro. I, I mean, had this, this dog when I was about. I think I was like maybe nine years old, maybe ten years old. Mm. And I used to catch a school bus, right? Right. Right there on uh, in West Philly. Right. And I used to live in West Park Projects, and as a little kid. Right. You know, West Park Projects, Drexel Field is right there. It's Powhatan Avenue leads right into uh, Market Street or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I used to go, you know, I had to stand. I had to walk out the Powhatan Avenue and, and walk over to, to Drexel Field and I had to wait for the school bus to come. And there was a dog there. It would always be there. Yeah. And, you know, that one day it was there, and I, you know, I think I think I just pet it, you know, pet it, you know, it was kind of like, you know, what is this dog doing? And I got on the bus, you know, <laughs> I went to school, Man. and I came back, and the dog was waiting for me when I got off the bus. Man, right on the other side of the street too. He must have knew how to cross, you know. So yeah, I got off the bus and was standing there, and it started it followed it followed me all the way um, yeah, home. Home, so, yeah. You know, and I went, I would go in. <laughs> you know, I, I lived on the fucking. But you ain't no, no. You tell you got. Seven floor. You was like, get out of here. Just yeah, after like, a while, it kind of got annoying because it's like, yo, get right. the fuck out of here. I kicked the dog. I used to oh. do a lot of like bad stuff to it because I didn't want. I couldn't take it home. Right. I couldn't take the dog home. So it was just kind of weird. I just always it, it, it followed me for a good like month. Right. And then eventually it 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 it, it went off and I didn't see it again. But you know, sometimes I would, yeah, I would. Uh, you were young though. How old were yeah, you? I was like, I think I was like eleven years, like twelve, twelve or eleven. Right. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, you didn't know no better. That was sad though, because the dog wanted to be. You know how when they say. Uh, you, I mean, I was nice to, to him. I mean, I let him hang out with me when I was. Now you said you got rid of the dog. You was yeah, like, yeah, because like it's dog. after a while, I was like, you know, for a whole movie, you know, I couldn't take it home. The, so come take, on, you remixing it now. I couldn't take it in my. Uh, I, you know, I live with my cousins dog, in there. Man. Stop it! Take it. Stop. So so so. You yeah, kicked the dog. Not, you kicked the dog, and you didn't yeah, want the dog. You were young because I didn't want it following me. It kept following me everywhere. Yeah, I go. You know, you're a little kid, and you get pissed off. You know? Yeah. Get that right. Yeah, you know. Okay. Huh? Well, yeah. All right. You didn't understand that dog was in love with you, bro. See. That's a sad. Yeah, I said that. Cat, that my, you know, I was, you know, I was a little kid. I didn't care. This is when I got his, his dog kicked. Hi, I was just calling because I live down the street from you, and your daughter come to my house today, and she kicked my dog. What? Your daughter come to my house today, uh-huh. and she come on my property, and then she kicked my dog, and now my dog needs operation. She kicked to your. She kicked my dog, and she kicked to your dog. Yes. Which daughter? The one who just answered the phone. <laughs> no? What? No? Yes, she did. I saw her. And then I go to, I saw her at your house. And why did she do it? I don't know. She didn't say. She <laughs> did? She's lying. She's lying to you, fucking guy. Where, where, where from you speaking? I am speaking from my house. <laughs> where do you live? Down the street from you. <laughs> huh? You know where I live, my dog. She kicked it and now I'm going oh, to fuck her. I don't, live, I, know, I don't know. Don't lie, you fucking guy. Hey, what? Don't talk like that. Fuck you! <laughs> you know damn right what you do. Where do you live? Who kicked your dog? Your daughter kicked my dog. Which daughter? You know damn right! 
bastard. Hello? Hello? Yeah? Why you kick my dog? Hello? Can I ask you speaking, please? You know, damn right. Oh, Russell was it's young, man. It's oh, good mad, they, oh, it's get, good yeah. We don't know oh, good yeah, do. Don't kick my dog to that's funny. That's beautiful. Yeah, I, yeah, I no, no, years your, old. Yeah, you didn't know. You was a kid. And well, the dog. Hold on, though. Yeah. Right. First of all, I'm 12 years old. I live in the fucking projects. And if I'm getting off the fucking school bus and I got to go home, I don't need the dog constantly fucking following me, man. Oh, I come so out my, 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 my I, I gave he the dog you, some man. water yeah. and all that. I couldn't take it home. I, I came, my cousins and them wouldn't allow. It was already like three people, other kids living. Yeah, I couldn't no. have no fucking dog in there. But I, I was nice to it sometime. I, I actually let it play around with it. But it's I couldn't. It, it was just, it was just getting, it followed me everywhere. It got annoying. <laughs> you know that dog is someone, <laughs> he like this. If I couldn't have so. I don't want anybody else. Somebody said, poor dog. I'm like, well, no. hey, man, you, what the fuck, man? Next time you see a dog, you take that motherfucker in. Because uh, I couldn't don't take stop. the dog in. I couldn't. I was then. I was 12 don't years old. Don't start with the craft room. I'm stop. just yeah, saying. Yeah. You getting mad? I'm like, I'm 12 know, years old. Listen, yeah, in, you don't living know. in the yeah, living a in the hood. Yo, you can be imagining what kids do to do to animals in the hood. I see. Oh, wow. So it's kind of wow. like, yo, it's the dog. Sky I was nice to the damn. Blue. I was nice to the damn dog. I gave the dog water. I fed the motherfucker a couple of few what times. What a wonderful but, world. Yo, man, after a while, I, I couldn't. This I guess, would be, you no. know. Listen, uh -oh. you don't got to defend. Nah, you got, nah, nah. Nah, listen. I'm just saying. Dog, you were 12. The dog. Nah, 12 well, years old. Yeah. You know, listen, the dog chose you. You know what I'm saying? The dog was like, you know what? I, yeah, I choose you to be my owner. And then you, did he hit you with puppy eyes? <laughs> Cause that usually that usually hit you with puppy eyes, and uh, you know the set. I don't, a, I don't think you looked them in the it eyes. Was a stray then. dog, man. <laughs> you can't just say. What, what, what I'm saying, dog. Did, he living, I don't did know you about anybody him, else. But did you look him in his eyes? Did you did God, you look, look at the, the dog, dog in the eyes? Because they'll catch you with it like that. If you look him in his eyes, then he probably. <laughs> so, <laughs> color boy, what, <laughs> what color said, boy said? Black kids are abusive. <laughs> <laughs> Russell, black urban kids. I'm like, well, I'm not black saying everybody urban. is. He said black kids are abusive to dog. No, 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 no. But see, did, see it yeah, was we got to hit a carry too. I need a carry. It was a situation. Yeah. All right. A situation. Yeah. Kept following me. Man. I helped the dog out a few times, yo. And, now, and how did you help the dog? How did you help the dog? Up on here, y'all got me. Got <laughs> don't defend it. It's long time. Who cares, bro? You yeah, know, yeah, nobody I'm, cares. I'm, an, I'm an animal abuser. Nah, whatever. nah, you I, was 12 years old. Yeah, man. I mean, act like y'all hey, wasn't. The, if you wasn't doing I'll that kind this. of stuff when you was a Sue kid. Sue was 12, yo. Come on. Yeah. You don't, no one, he don't want a pet at this time of day. <laughs> I said the dog, the dog wanted to choose. The dog, but see, you ain't look him in his eyes because you say he kept following you every day, right? I can't, yeah, I mean, I can't really. Maybe I did. I mean, I looked him in his eyes probably a few times. Like when times. you turned around, did he stop? I don't remember really what happened. <laughs> okay. It's All such I, a beautiful I, I story. Probably, he probably looked at probably, should, should I probably, that probably, you yeah. know, a couple of times I gave him some water. Okay, I bought some, so I bought yeah. food out. I would take food from the house and bring he, him the food, yo. So the, the dog girl, followed I mean, you to the house? He knew he would follow me in the projects, yeah. And it, and it would listen. This is how crazy it was. It, it, how, it would how, long, how many blocks? <laughs> this kid, well, this it wasn't kid, that far. It wasn't that far. It was, that far. It was like from the school bus. It, I lived in West Park Projects in West Philly. So okay. back, you know, yeah, Drexel Field, the college, Drexel University. They have a, um, a, you know, they have a baseball field. They have a track and field. They have all this stuff right next to the projects, right? Right. right. So. I would get let off on the school bus right then in the project. I just go. I would just go home, and the dog would be there, and they would follow me into the project. I'm sorry. So. Okay. <laughs> okay. Nah, so we did. We could, so we good. So we good so, on the same page. Yeah, it was, it was so funny. I mean, the dog would be there. I know. It's so beautiful. So. <laughs> Yeah, you, all right, man. You might even need okay, to change sorry. the subject yeah. because you can't even get the get, get, I'll get it. I'll get, get, get it out. So with the bus, <laughs> so the bus would pull up. Bus would pull up, <laughs> and the dog would be there. Yeah, you sometimes they yeah, would some, let people pass. Like, I would get off the like, bus. Yeah, I'll get off the bus, and sometimes yeah, it would be there. The dog would be waiting for me right there. Not right there, <laughs> but like you know, you get off and he's like, oh shit, you know. 
Right. You were choosy. Did you did you ever make contact eye to eye? Like if you ever looked at the door, like you could just be like, yo, get out of here, dog. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't talk, man. Yo, man, get the fuck out of here. I would, I would tell sorry, us, I would, I would tell us to get away, to get away sometime. But the dog would just follow me, man. It's like I don't know right. if anybody ever had that happen to him. That's that's deep because the dog's choosing right. you. He's yeah. He was. Or it could have been a she, but it's like yo. Yo, how many? I never had that happen. I don't know. I I don't know anybody else that I know. I have a dog or, just... or or even talk to anybody about that before. That dog just following you, like that. Then you know what I'm saying. It's been, but but every day. But how long? How long? Like I told you, for a few weeks. For a That's few real. weeks, that dog followed me around. That's real. That that you supposed to have took that that dog because. You didn't know no better, but but he said he follows you for weeks. Dog. I know, I know, he's but still, dog. he got love in his heart. He's like, he's like, he really. Know. He's like, he's like, yo, out of everybody. I mean, sometimes, I mean, I mean, I mean, sometimes, if we was out there and I was out there playing around about my the, friends, you're not about to cry over this, right? No, nah, <laughs> okay, okay. okay. Just, <laughs> this is, this is sometimes when I'd be out there with my friends, like no, the dog sorry. would come around <laughs> and shit. Yeah, go ahead. And you know we play around with the motherfucking shit like that but it wasn't oh never. he would come hang with you and your friends it was be, it oh, be in the dog. projects it's a straight dog right so it was like you don't know where the motherfucker you leave you don't know where that motherfucker go he said then uh, sometimes the dog would just appear out of nowhere now I don't know I don't know if anybody ever been through anything like this before but that shit that shit actually happened to me before so so I don't I'm know thinking. where the dog would go but it would just appear sometime. Like, you know, again, like at, like I said, like I would go, I'm going to school and that motherfucker would be right there. You know. <laughs> that you know what it. I mean? That was it. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker get up here. Yeah, but he don't just, he's like, let the dogs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He knows the illness. But he knows the illness. The illness. <laughs> everybody saw that. Yeah, yeah everybody yeah. saw that. But he knows the illness. <laughs> That's it. No. Yeah. I mean, he don't always got to make his presence. He says, he's doing the talking. I got to get on there right now. Yeah, yeah but I, I think, son honestly, says, yeah, it's a lot of dogs in West Philly like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like when I don't he, know. He, I don't know what it is. Yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want no dog really following me because that, you got you obligated now. You know what I'm saying? So it's like on. I went to a... Uh, go ahead. So you mean to tell me if you fucking woke up and you yeah. walk out of your building... Right. And you see a dog and it start following you, you gonna take it in. When now or when I was I'm saying now, now, now. Um if the dog followed me for a week, you would take it I in. I would have to well, it's different now. You don't have no straight dog. But if a dog followed me for a week, I would know that that dog has some type of connection. Like I would have to <laughs> but see, that's why I said in your mind, right, your twelve right. your twelve year old mind yeah, state, yeah, yeah, you, you yeah, probably yeah, wasn't like, like what the <laughs> You you know a little bit. it's like it's like the dog probably seeing something seeing something in you because I know a girl I know I know this lady Virgo right? okay and she a lot of Virgos she ha- had a cat she has her own cat and the cat would come to our house every day. She had her own cat in there. Was he feed? The was cat she feeding started, it? Yeah, she started feeding coming it? out okay. and feeding the cat. To the point where, if the cat didn't come, she started to worry. Mm, mm. I was like, "Oh, the cat got your cat got your heart." Sometimes probably they be pull on them heartstrings like that. You know, you feed them a little while, then they won't show up no more. Then they 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 kind of like you know what I mean. The next thing you know, you worrying about the cat. Right, right. Hey, got you. So she said that she would put it out every day and start worrying about it. Because animals, like you said, they don't talk. Sometimes they can pull you in with, yeah, uh, yeah, with yeah. their powers. And um, and uh, I, that's what I said. I said, yo, the cat got your, uh, got your heart now. Because yeah. it got you looking for it now. And uh, that's it. She's like, she never seen him again. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it was, a, I don't know if it was an omen. I, I think she said she never, like, that was it. Like I guess it got those couple of things in his in in her life, and she came out there and started yeah. buying for the cat, and that was like that. But you know, cats are different from dogs. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, you know, it's. Uh, I don't want anybody to think that um I don't like dogs. I like dogs. Nah, it's just a story, yo. Yeah. It, I mean, I mean, it's tw- I was twelve years old, yo. Yeah. 
Nobody's judging you over the yeah. over the. Dog. It was a dog it's fault 12. anyway for yeah, following yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, it's twelve. I mean, Why I used to do all kinds of you? stuff to that dog. I would put snow on the dog, try to bury it in snow. We used to, we used to do all kinds of weird <laughs> mm. <laughs> little kids. <laughs> when you're twelve years old, you, that's the kind of stuff you do. Right. You. you <laughs> I mean, you, you know, kind of like trying to get rid of the dog, and the dog still stayed around. Yeah. Like I what would, color was the dog? Because I'm thinking Santa Little Helper. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking like brown, rage. Yeah, I, I knew it was brown. Dog like. The brown dogs don't get loved like that. It's always a straight brown dog. I never see really no other dog yeah. colors out there, man. <clears throat> Can we hear bird song? Yeah, let's hear a bird song. <laughs> for my man, this is only for him. You know what I'm saying? This is from uh, um, the album uh, Forest. Yeah, you can let them hear it, man. It's coming. Uh, so there's a super chat too. We gonna play the bird song for y'all. Remember, after that, it's the horror. Let me get my thing out. Uh -huh. And when you get ready, it's one of my favorite songs. Off of it is the forest of the happy ever after. You could be a bird trainer with that. Yeah, right. Like, like, for, for, like an owl can sit right on top of that. Shout out to um, Big Bo. <laughs> Big Bo message. I want him to tell a story. He got some good animal story because he works with animals. For real, y'all. Shout out to the craft room. He works with animals. Infinite Live says, my dog would eat that dog. Yeah. Here we go. Two beautiful birds on a pole high above the curb. Observed to one open his beak and spoke words. He said, spring is here, summer is near. The other bird said, the leaves are growing, the flowers are showing, I'm aware. That's when a squirrel came down, looked around, and looked up and said, what are you guys talking about up there? One of the birds said, top of the morning. The other bird ignored him and started talking about how human technology polluted the air. He said, it's just not fair. How to use the machines to cut down trees, and they know that we live there. It's words that sound like chirps echo. The other bird said, breathing deep. Now let go. You smell that moist meadow? The peppers and the sweet corn? The top of carrots? That's when the parrot came down and said, hello. His head was green and his body was yellow. They both stunned. They asked, where did you come from? He said, my owner's cage from out of his window. In the building across the park. On the other side of the railroad. Then the bird revealed, I think I've been on the sill. You've been in the cage with that funny looking dog with the red nose. Yes, the owners call him Joe. Well, I think I ought to go. Oh, just so you know, be careful. Last week, they just found a couple of dead crows. Okay, so long. And one of the birds looked down. Look, there go that lady again by herself pushing a baby carriage. Last week, I saw a fight in that guy. I guess she couldn't save her marriage. And there goes that man alone again, sitting on the bench throwing bird seeds. Can't give I see water. him every day. I wonder where he say. <laughs> Yo, inspired by John. Uh, man, he got the birds out there. Yo, no doubt, What's man. What's that call again? Yeah, it's that? called Birds. It's called Birds. birds. The yeah, bird but... song. Yo. Uh. Mm. Play Fox oh, over there. Play a little bit of Fox for him, man. He said, look over Fox. there. Yeah. Because, <laughs> hey, uh, he is, Johnny inspired this tonight. Yeah. Oh. Because uh, the, the artwork, shout out to you, brother. I know oh, you're watching this show, man. Peace, peace, man. This guy, you inspired. So I'm, I'm playing a little bit. I'm only yeah, playing a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna do an album cover for you. You talking about Fox Chase? Fox Chase. Okay. Yeah, you gotta get a. Uh... <laughs> what the hell? Is that way to turn on the electric fence? This makes no sense. I'll grab the hand, you take the chicks. Let's split. There's four X6, but red is on top of the roof. He said, Silver, there's more in the coop. But he said, Let's leave all as a group. Just then, all the lights came on. The barn door opened up. They heard the hounds and the foxes were gone. They hit the holes that they dug. Chicken still in their mouth. Popped out and then rolled over in mud. Zigzag through the grass real fast. The fox that was last passed. The alpha fox in the flash. Head towards the night forest and splash through the puddles. Keep up the hustle, they use every muscle Trees they're gonna cut through Across the wheat parry, the night is airy But to eat and feed is necessary Over the branch, through the farm, over that log Keep running till you hear no dogs What up? Says the frog Where y'all headed? Says the hog Far Stop behind baby. the farmers in pursuit Yeah, yeah right, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, fuck. Yo, yeah, Fox what, Chase What album is that on? <laughs> that's on that, is that is the bird really, song and that song yeah. on the same album? Everybody look at what is that? Yo, yo, that's Fox Chase right there. Fox, uh, yeah, so you had to get it to the S. Is uh, that on the same album as the Bird song? Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, that all got to go together. You got to pull all that shit into one com combination, you know, and bang. Yeah. yeah that's, that's crazy. That, oh, man, I ain't, know, I ain't never hear that. That was like a, uh, we call that like a, a rodeo yeah. pre song. <laughs> no, that's, I'm out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, shout out to Jazz. Shout out to. Uh, you get a couple of rednecks in the background. Hey, oh, man, they hear the whole song. They hear the whole I song. It covers all of that. Cover, yeah. You know what I mean? Hey, now. Yeah, somebody say, hey, now. That right there is extra exclusive. That right. Oh, man. Yeah, that's a harmonica. Oh, man. You know, when you think of a harmonica, you think of a fox. Indeed. So how can I explain the fox without fox chain? So fox, fox. Should've, I should have went to the hook, right? On the AD. So I say, yeehaw. That's right. I know yeah. the hook don't sound like that. You know? It's like, yeehaw. Yeah. It gets, it gets real country. It gets real backwards. <laughs> real backward. <laughs> No doubt. Uh, they slapping good old time. Yo, should we run it back? <laughs> they, they feeling it. They feeling it. Fox, Fox Chase, should we run it back? Hey, I guess so. Yo, you, I you, you, I mean, you got real Bubba Sparks right there. No, no, no. Back. Bubba Sparks did. He can't. Let's Bubba run Sparks, Fox back, man. Bubba Sparks, I'm feeling Sparks. Take out the oh, Bubba Monica. Sparks. Here we go. Yeah. If you got to turn on the electric fence, this makes no sense. I'll grab the hand, you take the chicks, let's split. There's four X6, but red is on top of the roof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He says, silver, yeah, there's more in the I course. But he said, let's leave all as a group. Just then, all the lights came on. The barn door opened up. They heard the hounds and the foxes were gone. They hit the holes that they dug. Chicken still in their mouth. Popped out, and they rolled over in mud. Zigzag through the grass, real fast. The fox that was last passed. The alpha fox in the flash. Head towards the night forest and splash. Through the puddles. Keep up the hustle, they use every muscle. Trees they're gonna cut through. Come on. Across the wheat perry, the night is airy. But to eat and feed is necessary. <laughs> over the branch, through the farm, over that it. log. Keep running till we hear no dogs. What up? Says the frog. Where y'all headed? Says the hog. Far behind, the farmer's in pursuit. He had a stone pipe hat, a size 10 in boots. He said, God nabbit foxes that got in my coop. Those men can poops. Then he told his men to shoot. There was an old dying tree. The fox hopped into his roots. Chase. They get oh, more, okay. I get more back weight. Okay. okay. <laughs> Let's go to the back wish. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> hey, listen. Hey. You, ever, you ever heard no song like that? I shouldn't even. That right there. That right there. What the hell? <laughs> yo. Yo. He said so you need a straw and a badger. Uh, <laughs> yo. Yo. Who were you thinking about when you made that? Oh, man. Man. It's. You, must, you, was, you, wasn't, you ain't drink. You, ain't, you wasn't high when you made that? Uh man, you gotta uh yeah, it's it's I it's guess strange. when you wake up to like yeah. you wake up four o'clock in the morning and you sitting in there cause that's what he do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna like do it like us. this. <laughs> it's 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 yeah. It gets I don't it know, gets man. it gets that's more really, yeah. yeah, it gets <laughs> Cause who gonna round to a banjo? You know what I mean? A harmonica. A harmonica. So, yeah. But I felt like a, a I want a um I want a fox. I think about a harmonica. The backwards. Yeah, yeah. You, you. Yeah. But the whole thing is about Fox. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The Fox got into the coop. I'm not going to tell it. I'm not going <laughs> to give it up. But yeah, let's slap some knees and get them down. You said the frog. You said the frog. What did you say? The frogs. What up? The frog what up? said, what up? The hog said. It's the fox chase. <laughs> Hey, they was after him. He said, God nab it. They was after the oh, fox. They was after the right, fox. Right. Yeah. Did oh, you do no. DMT? First time, <laughs> Red Slash. Hey, you I, can play, the, I, can, I, I can play the whole song. I can play the, the banjo, yeah. Oh, man. Exactly. Yo, this pigs jump. We got pig. It's a whole bunch of, it goes deeper. It goes <laughs> into, yo, I feel like, uh, yeah, it's, we, in that, we in this moment. Voltage in the building. Wrote his Shout rhymes out the on the Vultures in the house. <laughs> Shout out on his, on his freedom papers. That's right. <laughs> Yo, <yeah. laughs> I can get free off this. I'm finally free. I'm finally free. I'm going to write my first rhyme or my poem, poem on this here freedom page that I... I bought my freedom with from my master. First song. Oh. First song. Called Silver. What is it called? Yo. Fox Chase. <laughs> called Fox Hold Chase. On. He said I wrote it on. 
I wrote that on my freedom papers, yo. Mm -hmm. Yo, shout out to Fulci. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that was a good one. Yeah, that was, that was a, good a good one. That was a good one. Yeah, yeah. Yo, that's, yo, yo, listen. Yeah. Backwards. <laughs> it, gets, it, gets, it gets more backwards than that. Oh, yeah. 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 Let's do it. Huckleberry friend. Uh, Huckle, yeah, Huckleberry. Uh, no, it was, it was Johnny who did it, man. Johnny, let's give him a piece of spider, man. Johnny. Let's go spider. Yeah, we're going to do this. Can we talk about animals before we get up, uh, oh, okay, before we okay. get to the music? Uh, yeah. Sp I don't know. That Fox John you just That's play it. is crazy. That shit. Niggas going to look at you like you crazy, priest. <laughs> spider, yo. You might have Eminem call you up, yo. Eminem. <laughs> You're like, yo, I just got your album, yo. Uh-huh. Lonely spider in the Philippines. Watch his eggs just hatch. Thousands of spiderlings. The web is a map of their memories. Wintery. Beneath the web, looking for a snack is the centipede. They said the orb web bent above the warm bed of Hormheb, the last pharaoh. Then he saw the shadow of a sparrow. Then he dashed quickly, my faded imagery, as I drift into a coma-like state, like I'm under anesthesia. I'm moves. having a moment, a reflection on life, while experiencing amnesia. As the spider silk spins in private as the night begins, the widow spider sits in the middle of a spiral. This goes to Johnny. Above a crack window out in Cairo. The web is the mind of the spider, so it sends out signals as it's tribal to West Africa. The tarantula, the stamina, is venom killing random bugs. And rodents, it's so potent, they control the grounds in Madagascar. Hey. Red terrain, shower the grass. Above the terrain sits the queen with the red hourglass. Along the streams and the spread flowers of the past. She's the first architect. Her silk created the moon. As she spent around it 10 trillion times with her spinnerets. Then she harpooned to Neptune. Forming a bridge, then released loose thread. Forming a Y shape to make the stars connect. Her celestial cycles resonate synchronicity. Though yeah. to other insects, invisibility. Eight eyes, eight legs. Eight, the symbol of infinity. Eight, no. eight oh, yeah. plus eight. My born date, the same tranquility. Mm. Babylon, the great mystery. Hey. I saw the spider form an enneagram, a wheel with inside of a wheel from the pineal gland. Upon each strand was a wavy it. cross that emanated a radiant energy. That you know what I mean? Just That's different awesome. sounds. Welcome to the forest. Yeah, it's awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> good na good nature. Good nature. You know. So nature fist, right? Nature fist is uh be strong as the winds. Have you seen uh nature fist? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And to be a gentle as the breeze, as a as a lake. Be calm as a lake, wild as a fire. Mm. Be still as the lake. As still as the lake. So that's nature fist. So some goes hard, some goes what's name? Blocking all the stuff, AD. Can't. Um, uh, AD, yeah, no doubt, heavy flow. Thank you. Let's give him, uh, somebody say, real, yeah, sacred geometry. That's what, because a spider, just like Weston, they say, is, uh, has uh, the web, the mind, is what I said in it, the mind of the spider is actually the web, because that's what they talk. They can't communicate, but they can, like Charlotte Web, so they, mm -hmm. they communicate with their web, the org, you know what I'm saying, or the, right, right. What's the name? So I had to do something about the spider, yo. So, I mean, Johnny brought all this out tonight. We're going to talk about this a little later. AD did a, a little nice video to that. Mm -hmm. uh, what's this? Which Jeez. features uh, Tahuti's spider. Hey, yes, yes. Shout out shout out to Tahuti. It's featuring his spider. Mm -hmm. Word. What, what's his name? The Horn. Yeah, and both of them. Yeah, yeah that yeah. spider has its own agent. Yeah, you got names for it. We had to we had to pay that names. spider uh, through its uh, what's it called? You paid him. Yeah, he he's on. Uh, yeah, he got you. See, he got you too, Don. He's, he has his own agency. <laughs> oh, he has man. He ain't down there. That, that spider agency. has its that's own spider. agency. Yeah, eight. Yeah, all right, man. We had to send that spider a check. Eight, eight eyes. It's spider check. <laughs> Cover boy, Fox <laughs> Chase. Damn checks. It's part. It's part of a a uh, uh, arachnid union. The rack in the union, right? <laughs> that spider going to kill him one day. You keep playing around. Bite him in the damn neck. The spider. <laughs> what else we got at? 
We got any other insects before we get to the music? Uh, we got bees, birds. Uh, oh. Welcome to the forest or what? Should I play a whole excuse? The forest, yeah. Is that the intro? Uh, we got bee, bird. I can, I can say the names if you want. Dragonfly. I love dragonfly. Dragonfly. Since we're in the this summertime, let's play dragonfly. This well, is the, we're in the spring, but yeah, that's fine. We're in the spring. Never seen Outside near a pond where the grass is high Passing by where the dragon Cover flies boy. Their bodies like liquid metal Their wings Cover like boy, stained dude. glass One landing on an eight leaf petal To sip some rain from grass Old as an ancient past Old as the bees in the meadow For centuries on the reeds where they settle Their history is like tea in the kettle Submerged till above with the birds Aquatic like mud in the herbs Exotic some genies have furs Melodic European ones surge Over 300 million years is still here They look unreal above rare They fly Flying scales none compare. I saw one fly that stood completely still in mid air. The dragonfly. Springtime, they're always near. A pond or a lake, that's where they're gonna find a mate. Below, fishes spawn for their bait. Hey. Dragonfly nef, almost got eight. But just wait, the hunter become the hunter. It might last the entire summer. Dragonfly larvae in his hunger. The most vicious predator in the reservoir. Life aquatic, let's explore. Microscopic on bed and floors. They were here before the dinosaurs in the Great China Walls. The first ape in the lion roars. Dragonfly took shape before the snake was worshipped on the Mayan shores. Dragonfly before diamonds was forged from Africa. And science was law. The Odonata, in for order. Anasopora, before man was dying from swords of triumph and war. The dragon was sore, face like a hammerhead shark, encased in the amber red art from the sap of a bark. Who said that the plants and the trees wouldn't help hey. man with modern day charts? Of the dragonfly. Huh. Dragonfly, yeah. dragonfly, 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 Yo, see this? Yeah, we in springtime. Good looking voltage. Hey. Wow. That was dope. Thanks, man. I Thanks. like that. I'm going to give the props to this dragonfly. Been here for a long time, man. Yo, man. Good looking. Good looking. Hey, y'all got some exclusives today. So, uh, good looking. Hey, no doubt, cover boy. Hey, um, all right. So, AD, are we ready? Uh, Dave yeah. So, did that. We ready to hold it steady with a machete. Yeah, all right. All right, let's move on then. All right, it's time for song promotions, where we play tracks submitted to the show. All right. One of my favorite parts. Yeah. Ceaseless one, bombs. Hey, they liking that. All right, all right. It's from Fars. Fly. This first one. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Go ahead. Fox Chase. Oh, they love it. <laughs> It's gonna stick to you because it's so different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, you got uh, cover, cover Boy still loving that one right there. Fox Chase, yo. He said he's still trying to Mushrooms. figure out how the fox and the banjo are related. Hey, no, it's a harmonica. A harmonica. Man, when, when I mixed that, I was the like, tea, for tea, real? Tea. Oh, my bad. Bro. I thought because my phone was ringing. Right. I thought you said. Are you ready? So, Terrians. Not yet. What up? What up? I'm live. Okay. Oh, you with Kareem Campbell? Oh, what up, Kareem? Oh, shoot. Yo, I'm live right now on my podcast. I'm going to call you right back. Where you at? All right. Yes. It, that's my brother right there, yo. Shout out to you, man. You heard. I'm going to hit you back. I'm, I'm live. All right? All right. All right. All right. The day is the show. It's Wednesday. I'm going to hit you right back. One, please. All right. I'm sorry, y'all. Bye. All right. Bye. <laughs> Kareem Campbell, man. Bye, Bye Shout out to the snake. Uh... Shout out to the skaters, yo. Word. That was Joey. Yeah, yeah Joey. Joey. Yeah, let's go. All right. Song promotions. Here we go. First track is by <laughs> Coach fox. Parcells. Put a fox face up, man. Yeah, yeah, put a fox up there. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> it's called oh, Air Jesus. Max Souls. Uh, that's coffee. 
Here we go. Uh, a church where Negro leaders pleaded for Steve peace Long? and were rejected. Down that way, the busy intersection where cars were overturned uh, and burned, Jasmine, where yeah. other cars were right, stolen, where a television technician was pulled from his wagon and almost beaten. Parcells, Air Max Souls. The soulful singing. Yo. That's like a um Yeah, I like it. It was crazy. It was dope. I mean, it was like, yo, I'll round to that. That mm-hmm. that that's got that soul to it. The way he looped that uh yeah, yeah. it was dope. Mm-hmm. All right. Next up now we've got Bragadino and DJ Guam. Oh yeah. The DJ from Guam. It's DJ, called yeah. It's called Now I'm Better Off. Hey, shout out to uh, Bragadino and shout out to DJ from Guam. Man, the connection on the podcast is so great. The Royal Priesthood, everybody. Yo, I wake up really early and I look up at the world. He's also going to be a producer. Uh, dogs, boys and girls. DJ from Guam. Still up, babies. Clouds coming in swirls. Blue sky open the window. Feel the wind coming in worlds. Thoughts through my neural pathways. Blue about past days. As long as I don't let it occur again and continue Look in the mirror, face the problems Quit swerving at issues Cry, let it purge within you Even if you got a curl up with tissues That good karma that you got You deserve them residuals So obviously you not All that mind and all this you got Decapitate the eagles, Mr. Potato Head Turn them to all rotten The laws got them bragging Guam got them all nodding When it dropped It's gonna be that record that they all copping They noggins bobbing Rappers taking notes longer than giant I'm just Grateful. I can inspire the pipe and Leviathan, transformed and angelic, bowing down but with confidence on the trees. With my guys take psilocybin with travels, men, no more collateral pills, speed of alcohol, don't get intoxicated. It says that in the Bible, y'all, walking what I'm talking, taking over my avatar, sacrifice the habits of vices. I'm back, y'all, Martha, to awareness to his charm, my consciousness is a star, arm, leg, leg, arm, head of our law, all I want to do is tie billboards like Pat Benatar, don't rap for money, rather make records for y'all, to bring you peace, love and wisdom, I've accepted the fall, and I rose from the ashes, now I carry my cross, and I have transformed and changed, now I'm better off. I love this beat. Um, I want to, you know, I want to get into more just pure positive hip hop. Thoughts through my neural pathways, blew about past days. As long as I don't let it, I'm doing it. That's how we can hold. Yo, Bragadino's MCNYs. Deserve the residual, so obviously you're not. Oh, 
Chris Brown and all this forgotten. The Capitol, he goes, Mr. Potato Head, turn him to all crying. The laws got him bragging, why I'm got him all nodding. When it drops, that's gonna be that record that they all copping. They noggins, bopping, rappers, taking notes, logging and jotting. I'm just ready for locking, inspired, and python, leviathan, transformed and angelic. Bowing down, but with confidence on retreats. With my God, take silly, side like travel spin. No more colada pen, pills, and speed, and alcohol. Don't get intoxicated, it says that in the Bible, y'all Walking what I'm talking, taking over my avatar Sacrifice the habits and vices I'm back, y'all, marked up to awareness to this charm My consciousness is a star Arm, leg, leg, arm, head of a law All I wanna do is top billboards like Pat Benatar Don't rap for money, grab a Records for y'all to bring you Peace, love, and wisdom, I've accepted the fall And I rose from the ashes, now I carry my cross And I have transformed and changed, now I'm better off uh, Glasses by Santana when, when, when something has you down, you transmute it, you can see the other Alright, that was cool What yeah. you got? Yeah I think it was dope, I thought only thing I'd say is uh, maybe we would have turned the vocals up a little bit But other than that, it's pretty dope yeah expert man um you know bragadino that's royal priest everything yeah. he do lyrically he's he don't have nothing to work on yeah you know what i'm saying he's just sometimes you you travel there but when you're already there and you know you just know how to um maneuver inside and outside like about said <clears throat> before when he was rhyming it was is come on you know you know how to rhyme mm-hmm. <laughs> word and uh I like the intro, the uh, beginning, and um, DJ for Guam. He keeps coming. He keeps coming with that, that uh, you know, that uh, beautiful beats and um, you know, beats from the heart outwardly. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, boom. Well, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's just good mixture, good mixture. Give us a give us a royal priesthood one, man. Come on, let's, 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 let's say you get a little dangerous, get on the dangerous side with the, and he got him. Yeah. Travel up some steps. Bragantino, good looks. It was crazy. Let's go. All right, this next one here is by Fix. Second. Fix, Cash, and Billy Hush. And it is called Mothership. Here we go. Can you be one of us? Billy, Billy, I go 
home, ain't nobody stupid I was 12, they asked me where I from I tell them I from Jupiter Planet and go planet hopping Tell the pilot wait for me She feel yeah. me so I told her baby Take a trip to space with me Leave your worries on this surge Where we come from, there ain't no crying You could get some rest I wake you up when we pass in Orion When I'm feeling stressed I just smoke and drink a beer yeah. I close my eyes and vision myself Somewhere far from here Take me away from here Take me away from here Take me away from here Somewhere, somewhere Take me away from here Take me away from here Take me away from here Somewhere Jupiter, Mercury, Mars I just might belong there I'll fall beyond the stars Is anybody out there? Jupiter, Mercury, Mars I just might belong there I'll fall beyond the stars Is anybody out there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. That was fire. That was fire. No time to expire. Mm -hmm. That was fire. Yeah, I like it. I like the message behind it. You know, the, the lyrics. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I'm sorry, know? I read the chat real quick. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I, I, it's not particularly my kind of cup of tea, but I like what he was doing. For the young folks out there, you know what I mean? Like what's that? Jim, Jimmy B says there, yeah, get out your skinny. For those, this is for those cats. He can help them wake them up. You know what I mean? Yeah. And give them something besides some of the lean and all that crazy stuff they talking about. You know what I'm saying? They can listen to this and get a different perspective on that kind of that style of hip hop. But I say, yeah, I like it. I like the message and what he's doing. It's a positive song. Uh, yeah, I like everything about it. I, yeah. It makes you makes you imagine it. Yeah. Uh, Jupiter. Yeah, yeah, Mars makes me. I like things that take me out. Like, uh, it was, it was out, dope, yeah. yo. Keep going, keep going, y'all. Y'all on the right path. Keep going. Yeah. Mm hmm. Uh, get out your skinny spacesuits. The uh, jeans. The skinny <laughs> skinny spacesuit jeans. They're talking about, they, they flying out of there. You know what I mean? Jupiter, Jupiter, Mars. Skinny spacesuit jeans with them big ass Balenciagas. All right. What's up, Balenciagas? Balenciagas. Yeah, what's that? It's them shoes that, you know, it's like another brand. Uh, the big shoes, those moon you shoes? They look like moon shoes, yeah. Moon I thought, shoes, I thought it was Kanye's. Sneakers, moon sneakers. No, that's not the Kanye's. What's, which one Fat Joe had on? He got, I got to see what he had on. He, Fat Joe wear a lot of weird shit. Actually, no, nah, he's a very kind of, he's, he's actually, he's not too crazy. All right, you ready? <laughs> Next one is uh, by Mark of Buddha. It's called Warrior's Way. Hey, Mark of Buddha. Shout out Tutu. Tutu is a familiar name to me. Ooh, I like it. Oh, yeah. Uh. Nah, Buddha, dude. Every now and then they kill me. That's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. That 
was fire. It's the Mark of Buddha. So that was razor nice. sharp, razor sharp. Stay yeah. out of there. Mm-hmm. 36 chambers right there, Mark of Buddha. I was actually listening to that earlier this morning. <laughs> nice. Shout right. out to the Mark of Buddha, man. Keep up the good work. Awesome. Shout out to Red Sun out there, too. Smack it harder than Chris Rock. Kyle Zodiac in the building, too. You in there? Kyle Zodiac. Shout out to Kyle Zodiac. Yeah. Speaking of Kyle Zodiac. We got to send. Yo, when we going to get him on? When we going to get him on and do a whole session with um, Kyle Zodiac? You coming next, bro. We got to do. We got to get him. I want to talk about some astrology. Let that brother build because um, every time he come on, this is great. Just, let's pick a date and let him know. All right. You know what I'm saying? The 20th, I got the return. Carl Scrant. Oh, yeah. Well, well that's next week. Lord Scrant. Lord, okay. Lord, Lord Scrant? Yeah. Okay. Led, so, yeah. My, <laughs> I got uh, Led Scrant yeah. will be here on the 20th. Led Scranton return. Dogon time. Lord Led. And some other ones. Coming soon. And uh, he's coming. You'll never find. <laughs> a corner You'll of never the find. A love like this like mine. Someone who holds you. Let's go. All right. This Stella. is by Ka Zodiac. It's called Stellar Autopsy. Oh, man. Stellar Autopsy. Already poured. Let's go. That's where my K9 at, yo. This is the science of as above, so below. Uh, this is the science Santos. of man yeah, know thyself. Everything in the universe. And what better wisdom can there be to know nature, how it works, and how we relate to nature? The best place to hide the truth is in plain sight. Yeah, still a raw top, see anatomy, your man. Universal thoughts turn the bodies on the land. The secret is within. The physical's a casket. Soul of man strapped. There's no freedom in the skin. Still a raw top, see anatomy, your man. Universal thoughts turn the bodies on the land. The secret is within. The physical's a casket. Soul of man trapped. There's no freedom in the skin. Eagles in the wind glide gracefully above it all. A body does a call. The cars when the numbers fall. Dress me in a state suit. Hearts clubs a diamond cut. Fallen angels looking sharp. Wanda playing crooked. Harps, harmony with cosmic law, solar body follows looking shiny, get an armor ball, and I can see the god in all hiding in the flesh. There's a science at its best, well provided with finesse. You can never keep the mind in war. Secrets of the beast that need to be released. Well hidden, hell's prison that the teachers used to teach. Have a piece of this daily bread. The body is a mask. And Islamically, the master, the knowledge that was last hit. Sipping that illusion juice. Pop and take your last swig. Zodiac, hula hoop. Spin around the map lid. See the flower pot. Consciousness. A casket, six men captured with twelve hands. The vast grid of planets that your soul attract. Aries the Pisces, the physicals of yoga map, reflection of the heaven, perfect copy of the holy map. Written in the skies above, I am never going back. My veins be pumping lions, blood the womb, and the tomb is one. The earth's both with them. If you ain't prepared for the scroll, then don't open them. Your body is the universe, copy of the human church. It seems the truth preserved, but introduced to stupid first. The questions have been answered. What's the yearning cost of you to search? <laughs> Hold a grail, <laughs> Opening your lonely cells to your arms, leave a charm, spread amidst the holy scale, teach Islam, eat the palms, peace to keep the people calm. Nature shake because the man sleeping and it needs a long plan. He said, Taurus throat jamming out of thoughts. I wrote with my hands, cancer eye, the your heart you can't deny. Verbal right and standing by, nervous system burning, wisdom leaving back, complete the track. Scorpio, the reproductive secret is a scene in public, please discuss it. People love it. Sass about a travel high, need Capricornius, Aquarius, the anchor, you're not walking with us all again. Pisces, we need to be water below. Please know that one go and learn all you should know. It's contained within the hate because they thoughts are too slow. You're the master you've been seeking everywhere that you go. Still a raw top, see your anatomy, your man. Universal thoughts turn the bodies on the land. The secret is within. The physical's a casket. Soul of man trapped. There's no freedom in the skin. Still a raw top, see your anatomy, your man. Universal thoughts turn the bodies on the land. This one the is uh... within. Physicals and caskets, solar man trapped, there's no freedom in the skin. There's the Kabbalah, there's all the tarot cards, there's the 22 paths of the 22 letters of the Hebrew alphabet, all the alphabets. Here are the planets, 
there's Mercury, there's Mars, Hera is the Zodiac, Aries in the head, the fire, Taurus in the throat, the Big. earth, Gemini air, Cancer water, this is the whole system. <laughs> they can't see those hidden pictures because they're not looking and they don't care to look. They want someone else to tickle their ears in church. This is what frees. That's dope. Fire. Yes. That's all. There's Fire is always right there. Yeah, the, the, I think this is one. Of, this is one of those ones where you just. Mhm. Mm yeah, this is one of when you so. I mean, everything's happened. It's that right there is a royal priesthood. That that right there is a that song right there. We gotta talk about that. That that song right there. I mean, everything came together. That's like the universe. Like I said, the oyster right there. That's that's uh certain songs you hear is like okay, he on it, mm -hmm. he on it, he in it. That was one of those ones. It's like he could have just went another. You do an album on that, but you don't even have to do that much. That 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 right there is perfect. Yeah, that was dope. Mentally, beat wise, spiritually, everything everything you need. To the, proceed. Yeah, the ingredients, the ingredients, mm -hmm. everything is in there. Proper ingredients, everything. Oh, yeah. I love that. Only thing I can say is nothing but 2,000, 10,000 mics for you, brother. You always come through. It's nothing I can really say, but just give you your props, man. Just keep, just keep bringing the flames. Yeah. Triple JC said he's at... Uh, 432 hertz. I'll give him 520. Got it. That one. Four, 432. It's right there. But mm -hmm. then he just said, whoop. Let's give him another. Add another 100 to that. You can carry the one. Give him a little. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Add a little bit more. Multiply. <laughs> multiplication. Yeah. And then you in there. Divine sounds, yo. Divine sound. That's beautiful. Fire. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> and if you guys are interested in uh, participating in the next song promotion segment, go to killerpriest.tv slash song promo. All the info is up there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah beautiful right there. Mm -hmm. Yo. So, yo, listen. I mean, we had a good time. Um, oh, shout out to Congo Bobby in the building. Let me let me know if you say something. Hold up. Can I go, Bobby? Yo, you live. We at the we at the um we we um we at the podcraft right now. Oh, what's good, my man, Killer Priest? What's going on, brother? Yo, shout out. We got you on here. You live. That's right. That's right. I was calling you, man, to talk <laughs> to you about the, the BT Awards that's coming up. Okay. If you want to perform ninety five bodega together, or what's up? Hey, let's talk about it, bro. We'll talk about it off the air. Okay. That sounds like a plan, okay. though. Yeah. Yeah, geez. yeah. Because I'm gonna do three days out there. I'm gonna do three days out there, and I was thinking one of those sessions. You come out there. You got to hit me up so we can talk about it. I was thinking 95 Bodega. All right. Let's talk about that. That sounds like a plan. <laughs> yo, everybody shout out. Yo, they shout you out. Uh, yo, we got, oh, yo yeah. tell everybody on the podcast, man, you know. Wakanga. Much, uh, much respect, you know, to everybody on the Killer Priest podcast. You're right. You know? So, uh, yeah, Priest, I thought about you for that 95 Bodega, man. Let's go out there and perform it. All day long. All day long. Okay. All, All right. right. So when you finish on the podcast, give me a shout. I'm over here at the King Cigar Lounge hey. having a cigar right now. So I figured, you know, uh, let's, that talk, way. let's talk about that when you when you finish. It's going to be a big event out here. It's three days. Okay. So, Say no more. Uh, I think they got to hear that 95 Bodega live in full effect. Yo. Sick line <laughs> over mankind and Gucci design. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no all doubt. Right, all right. All right. So, Say no more. Much love to everybody on the podcast. So hit me up when you finish, Priest. Peace. All call, right, brother. Call guy out. Bobby Congo. Oh, man. It's always Bobby good Congo. to hear from him. To see where the indigenous Congos play the original. No one breaks it down like Bobby. Um, all right. So we're going to get up out of here, yo. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Want to thank everybody for participating. Um, for uh, yeah, for joining the podcast. I want to shout out to everyone that's out there. Um, definitely been a beautiful vibe. Shout out to I don't have my other book, but um, 
yeah, so we got the show coming up um, the 23rd. Once again, the 23rd, uh, me and Fourth Disciple at Doja Belusia. Doja, Doja Belusia. And um, we'll be out there the 23rd, along with uh, Kind Hearts. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's going to be a dope event. Me and uh, Fourth, you know, we perform together. But we're going to be doing the classes from um, Heavy Mental and, um, you know, some new stuff. Uh, 95 Bodega. Shout out to uh, everybody up out there in Houston, area we coming. Yeah, we got some uh, super chats we might have missed. Shout out to Kermit Allen. He says KP statues coming soon. Thank you, bro. KP statues, I like that. Shout out to Neon Panda, the son of the artist that we had today. Hmm? He did two. Remember the one that said, hi, dad, it's me, Luke? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Luke. He yeah, had shout two. out to Luke. He had two super chats there. Hey. We had David Flores there. I um, shouted him out. Abel said, great show. Israel Miller said, thanks for the podcraft surprise. I shouted him. Yeah. I'll put five looking. on. Okay, just making sure. Mm-hmm. Yep, we said that. And, yep, okay. We're all set. Shout out to Danny Salinas for the diamond. Right. All right. Shine bright like a diamond. Yo. Mm-hmm. All right. Yo, man, tune in. Uh, AD, you got any announcements? That's it. We ready so, to rock. Uh, yeah, we got some stuff uh, working, still working on the videos with David Flores and um, Voltage. So keep the lookouts coming. We're, work, we're working hard on it. No doubt. And, um, yo, Horoscope, thank you. I mean, make sure y'all, y'all order the CD so y'all can frame it or something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It'll be here, man. We got Voltage. Voltage came through. We got um, Marco Buddha. Uh, it's going to be a little something extra on there. So make sure y'all get the CD and get the uh, download when the download come. AD's doing some stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, AD. I see that face, AD. <laughs> yeah. You ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Ready. This is Sparta. This is uh, Gotha. All right. So I want to say peace. Uh, to the podcast and everybody uh, thank y'all for coming through catch us next week alright see y'all All right, peace. on Team Mix Monday. Monday shout out to Donnie Arcade also yeah shout out to Donnie Arcade yeah Fox Chase <laughs> When they say hip hop is dead, I turned over in my grave. The fans had a seance, summoned me back to the stage. Back risen from the owner ashes, kindled with rage. Baptism for the young and masses. When my pen hits the page, I spit hell frames until they flushes and bomb. In upside down, crucial form. They get hung by their palms. I spit that hood hair on. Diesel for DJ's needles. Spin the record back, just watch the dog get evil. I sacrifice him, turn the stage to my pentagram. Then after life him, pierce the veins by the kilogram. Then back to life him, spin and bomb and flew with the filler man. Reincarnate him to kill him again. You get kneeled and sacrificed and resurrected back to life. Got your spirit across the lake of death to the afterlife. You see a white flash of light, you start seeing them angels. Then on your journey back to Christ, after I point blank range you. Set him on fire, cremate him while he lay in his coffin. Another burnt orphan, burn him, return him, burn him, return him, burn him, return him, burn him, this be another burnt orphan. I hold my pen like a scalpel, verbal surgery, one verse would be murder on the first degree. I got the alien flow, spit mercury, so most certainly you gon' show me courtesy. They want my gym like a Jew thief, burglary, creeping through my cashew. And if I ever catch you, you better hope your doctor could try and reattach you. The grand prize winner, and I don't mean a raffle, cause when I'm in the building, you hear the walls crackle. I bury battle rappers beneath my tabernacle. My 16 bars should be in crack capsules, and you a main course meal for my pterodactyls. 
been a flamethrower since the game's over. I built the arc and became Noah. They gave us Oprah in the game culture. La Costa Nostra. I kick knowledge that's ultraviolet. That I jotted in the palm pilot. My sperm cells turn into comets. I give birth to your super conscious. The hardest crystalline form of carbon. Rap artist awesome. You too dull, get your shore shopping. You don't wanna jeopardize your deal. Cause when I spill the booth, yelling, get out like Amityville. Blood of my blood. Flesh of my flesh, can't let it bleed, can't let it lay to rest Back inside of hip-hop nostrils, I resurrect Crossed over the lake of death to blow back the breath Where's our savior? Any day death could take us They made us projects and graves with our 40 acres While we sit back and watch the Lakers They got plans how to stop man and soon erase us Burn them, return them, burn them Return them, burn them, return them, burn them this be another burnt offering Burn them before the assembly And watch his ashes go up through the chimney